music all right hey everyone so uh i was on the fence about doing an sfo stream today but i thought it would be a lot more fun to do like a multiplayer thing i don't do multiplayer all that often so how about 1v1 doomstack things because i'm thinking okay i love this idea because it's kind of like top trumps right so somebody takes a shitty army then somebody takes a really good army and then somebody takes an even better army and you're just kind of like d d undermining each other with each step you know what i mean like so you have it, it's just it's it's doomstack top trumps i love this idea right so this is the name of the game okoi doomstack 1v1 just look up the word okoi you'll find the session password is ogre oh i'll put that in the description fuck hold on i've forgotten Terrible, 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 terrible. Hold on. That's my own stream. Give me a mo. Uh. Password. Ogre. Good. All right. We'll just see who hops in, I guess. Oh, I should set up the session thing. Fuck me. Um, run in. All right. Give me a mo. Doomstack CC Glass. <laughs> Weird call out to Warhammer uh, Dark Souls 2 there. Can we pick a random map? Random map. Dash Plains, Nagaroth, Petrified Ravine. Uh, all right, that'll do. Default funds. It, no, we need custom funds for this, right? So we're going to go with 69,000 million. Unit scale ultra, time limit, unlimited time, difficulty normal. Wait, what does this change? Enemy forces are smarter, tougher, and which higher leadership is said. Oh, okay, so this is for like AI, okay. Realism mode, no large armies, no, we're just, we're just going with 20 stacks. Character loading, no, unit caps, no, fuck that. Unit caps could not be more defeating for this. All right, we just gotta wait for some people to join, I guess. Damn it, okay, I'm at school right now. Damn, dude, I haven't been to school in like 12, 10, wait, 8? How old am I? Hold on, 8? Like, 10, 12 years? Fuck, I'm old. Oh my god. Speaking of Doomstacks, how much more useful do you think the Nobler one would be with a new landmark and pig bot or okay? Why? What does that do? I, I forgot. Oh, we got two guys already. Dump Truck and Rusaro. Rusaro. Okay, I can see their army, so I'm just gonna not look at that. So, try not to take some sweaty shit. I think it'd be a be, Dan, you're 40? Jesus Christ, no, I'm 28. 40? Is that like the cutoff point? Does that mean I'm old? I'm 40 years old. I'm just old as fuck. That's pretty old. 28 feels old as fuck, man. Like I'm, I'm like. I mean, I, I was about to say I'm fatter than I've ever been, but I'm, I'm a lot skinnier than I was like five years ago. I've started going to the gym now. Like as of four months ago, I started going to the gym for the first time in my life, 
My metabolism's crapping out as I'm hitting 30, I guess. Like, I'm getting close to 30. You're ancient. All right, go back to school, kid. You're not fat, you're just ogre maxing. Oh my god, right? Dude, it, that's the thing, though. I'm like I'm like a short dude, so if I if I put pecked on the pounds, you know, to try and look like an ogre, I'd look like a fucking round manlet. You know? It, it just doesn't... You know what? Same thing with, like, building muscle. When you're, like, a short little guy... And you pack on muscle, you end up looking like a buff Oompa Loompa. It's just, it doesn't, it, you, you grow out, you don't grow up. Getting buff does not make you taller or more intimidating. You just look like a fucking troglodyte. 5-1 confirmed, okay, I love it. <laughs> I'm 5-8. So I get, I, I feel like that's pretty short. I don't feel short a lot of the time unless I meet a guy who's like over 6 foot, but there you go. Pretty sure that's below average. I don't... All Okoy Doom Sack, let's go. Alright, let's... I'm not gonna look at what they've taken. Fuck! <laughs> Just die quick! Go, 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 go! Ready up, everybody ready up! Alright, they're ready, fuck it. Dive in. Shit, I already ruined it. <laughs> this is the best one it's gonna be, because neither of them know what they're taking. I already fucked up. Already at Okoy... Oh my god! Okay, a clear victor is gonna come out. <laughs> No rules. Oh my god. The triple gold chevron gunnery white stack. Gunnery fellow stack versus. <laughs> Why would you go with a chariot stack right out the gate? You Chad. Holy shit. Alright, let's see how this goes. I can't handle this trumpet solo right now. It's too high energy. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, look at the lighting. Oh, I'm gonna fucking nut. No, I mean a doomstack. Of only Okoys. Imagine the power. Jesus. No. Rip. Oh, I forgot about people's load times. Everybody shame Russero and Chet. You can't afford a streamer PC. That's cringe. Man, you gotta get... Uh, Russero, you gotta buy an SSD, man. You gotta buy an SSD. They're not that expensive. It's like... $30 or... It's like $60 or like 40 British Wonga for a, a good solid SSD to slap this game on. Oh, here we go. I feel like this is a done deal, dude. How are you even gonna... Dude, look at the lighting! Ooh. Oh. Look at the lighting on these boys. You can see every... I <laughs> okay. Let's see how they play this, but... I feel like... I, f I don't feel like the Snuffling Pump Wagons are gonna win, is that- Oh, <laughs> look at the crits! There's so many. Running Promethean Gunnery Mob. 54 uh, missile strength on these bad boys. Someone has to mod Oko into the game as a small Nobler slash Goblin. Okay, out here doing enhance. I think I would like- Like I said, if anybody wants to get in touch, help me make an Ogre Koi mod, I would be down. I will do as much as I can. I will make myself and and oh, dude, dude, the damage already. <laughs> Get them, boys. Get in there, snuffling pump wagons. You got this. I think that um, dump truck should have gone sweatier with this build. Oh, it's so bad already. Although, I mean, snuffling pump wagons are armor piercing and armor sundering, so they have a good. You know, chance of cutting through the Promethean Gunnery Mob. They're just not good in drawn out combat, and charge bonus is pointless. I'm okay. It's not pointless. I, I'm I'm I, that's I'm diminutizing it a little bit, but it's not great. I mean, he's doing better than I thought he would. He's taking some chunks out of these crabos. Look at <laughs> he's tickling him. He's tickling the ivories a little bit. Honestly, Worst Egg is going to be the bigger best bet for these builds. Like. The be Wait, why didn't you go Grom? Grom is a way better pick for these guys, I think. I want to say. Adokoi, favorite top three factions. Um, Ogre Kingdom's number one, even though their, their campaign is a little bit dog shitty right now. But, uh, it's um, Ogre Kingdom's Greenskins and uh, Skaven. Ogre Kingdom's Greenskins and then Skaven. Greenskins and Skaven are kind of tied, but Ogres are going to be my favorite, obviously. I, they do need some rework though, even though their campaign's a little dookie shits right now, but... And their legendary loads are a little bit dookie shits. You can only play Scrag so many times before he gets boring. I'm still on board of the Ogre Kingdoms, but there you go. <laughs> oh god, dump truck, no. Woo! 
Yeah, even even uh the big stump, the big orc foot is not gonna help you out of this circumstance. Look at the, they're just watching stoically with their menacing crab stares. God, their faces are fucking horrifying, by the way. Uh, oh, those little, oh, uh, the little legs inside the mouth. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, where's Zag's? Oh my god, where's Zag's getting his dump truck blasted? Is a combo of an ogre, green skin, and Skaven, to be fair. I do look like none of those things. I look like a beast man. There's a lot, a lot. A, a lot of unkempt facial hair and long, st stupid hair. Decisive victory. There you go. Uh, unsurprisingly, Jesus Christ. Chariots were a brave move, though. Move, though, by Dump Truck. A Chad move. A Chad move, but not a winning move. Sorry, Dumpy. You did well. You did well. Unfortunately, uh, Rosaro's crab stack is going to have to stay on. So, uh, what do you guys think? Should the person that, that made the Doom Stack keep that doomsday like he he's not allowed to switch out of this army right because then the other person can counter pick otherwise it would just be down to like who's a better player and also taking like sweaty builds so i think that rosario you gotta stay with this now this has to be what you stay with and then i guess dwight we'll see how this goes if not we can just free it up right keep keep yeah you gotta keep this rosario rosario God, change your name. <laughs> change your whole name you probably had for years because I can't pronounce it. Rusoro. 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 I feel like I'm... I'm like edging towards a Scooby-Doo impression. Rusoro. <laughs> Edokoi, how long before I can rejoin? Oh, uh, I don't know. A couple of... Just give other people a couple of fights to like you know get in and stuff and if you can jump back in that's totally fine but you know try and give other people a chance to play you know what i mean i'm not saying you can you can't you're not allowed to rejoin ever just like give a couple of other people a chance to to join first like three or four people and then you know you, then you're free to jump back in unless you take a sweaty ass bitch army then you're not allowed to rejoin because you're stinky but if you if you jump in you take a silly stupid army like a. Uh, I don't know, a chariot doomstack for the green skins, then by all means. You know, slap, you can, you know, slap your balls down on the table. Oh, also, we'll re randomize the map again. The ecstasy expanse in the realm of Slanesh. So we better take something sexy. He's coming in with a Skaven. It's all Dwight. <laughs> He's fucking Nigel Thornberry. All right. Ready up whenever. Okoye's okay, edging. Nice. I am an edgelord. What's the lobby name at Okoy? Oh, it's fuck. Yeah, right. Uh, I need to uh, it, Okoy's 1v. Oh, fuck. I'll update the description. God damn it. Um, lobby name. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Lobby name. O uh, Okoy 1v1. 1v1s. I forget. What is it? What do they call the lobby? <laughs> I completely forgot. Okoy 1v1's Doomstack. Uh, yeah, Okoy's Doomstack 1v1's. Just, just type in the word Okoy and it'll come up. I don't know. Just look up the word. Just type in Okoy. O-K-O-I-I and it'll pop up. Other people have been able to. Oh, they're ready to. Let's go. I wish it would just automatically ready up because my chimp ass is not going to remember to do so. Okoy, why didn't you announce something earlier in the week? Poor planning. Um... How about you... J it, shut up. <laughs> oh, this is the Poison Wind Globe into your Doomstack. The thing is, though, if he can close the distance with these Rotting Prometheans, he will still absolutely smoke these boys. Oh, it's led by Tretch. Of course it is. All right. This is not a bad pick. A lot of anti-large, a lot of damage. You you should be able to chew through them, but they got a lot of armor. This is interesting. Let's go. Let's see what... I'm curious. Because if you can close the gap... Oh, this is so very pink. Oh, my God. Ugh, this is what I feel like the inside of Nakari looks like. You know, a lot of watery puddle. I'm changing the subject. Rosaro, we're waiting for you to load again with your SSD, your lack of an SSD. How dare you? What was I talking about? Somebody, I, I, somebody like, oh yeah, in, in, interrupted earlier in the week, right? Yeah. Um, 
That's a good idea. I should probably announce stuff earlier in the week so people can like prep. If it's something that requires, like this is just, you know, jump in, throw your throw a doomstack on me up there and see what happens, right? Throw some spaghetti against the wall and see what sticks. <laughs> Get this bad name, bad PC schmuck out of here. <laughs> oh no, Rusero. You're getting shamed by the community for your lack of sissed. Holy f I don't quite inside Nakari kick. I mean, if you don't think the inside of Nakari is squishy, pink, and wet, then moving on. Um, how long before we can rejoin? Dump truck. I already addressed this, man. I think. But just like a couple, give it a couple of fights, three or four fights, and then you can rejoin, right? But you, you gotta take some countering, counter, ca that can counter, I guess. Look at all of these rats! My, my, my warp snuff. Whoops. Did he just talk about snuff? Skaven confirmed snuff enjoyers. Oh, Tretch has gotta get out there in front. He's anti-large if he, oh, that's why he took him, because he's anti-large and there's a lot of crabs. Confirmed, pirates have crabs. What is and is not sweaty besides the obvious ones like a checkerboard or Sisters of Avalon? Just anything that's... I, I'm pretty sure you can ascertain what is sweaty and what is not sweaty. Like, a Malekith caster dragon-mounted army with a bunch of dragons. Sweaty AF. Dude, you should have gone checkerboard here, man. Ooh, that damage, though! Damage over time, too. Oh, yeah, fuck. No, there's no way. I don't think it's all Dwight spread his shit out enough. He, he's like too cramped. Although, dude, that damage. Poison wing globe ears are slept on. I might do a poison globe ear doom stack, but I just did a, uh, a, a scaven doom stack. Although you could never have enough scaven doom stacks. Let's be honest. The realm of Slanesh has crabs. <laughs> oh shit! N Nakari's the inside of Nakari has crabs. Warp sniffer. Oh dude. Oh no. Dwight's getting... Dwight from the office is getting bowled over by, by pirate crabs. What are these sentences, man? Fuck. If you think... Uh, here's the rule for if you think it's sweaty. If, you, if you're worried that it might be sweaty, it is. I mean... It, it's gonna be sweaty, right? And that's just what's... Like... If you have to make think about that decision, then it's sweaty. Dude, the boys... If you had, a, like, a couple of these guys checkerboarded... Like, if you to put your, your boys, like... Rats... Rats, 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 like this, and kind of like a spread out. Oh man, the crab, the crab stack is in, is just unstoppable. He's, nobody's ever gonna get. Is crabs curable? Is the crabs curable? I'm curious. I'm asking for a friend. The friend is Nakari. All right, let's get rid of Dwight. Sorry, Dwight. It was a valiant attempt, a good army stack. Unfortunately, you took Tretch, who- I can't make fun of Tretch anymore. I just realized I was about to dumpster Tretch. He's actually good now. Uh, okay, actually, you know, as a legendary lord in combat, he still looks exactly the same and smells the same, but like his campaign mechanics are way better now, so. All right, Lord Antharg. I, is this man going Nurgle? Oh, the bravery. Oh wait, I gotta stop looking at his army. That's, I can't cheat. Although, it doesn't matter because Rusoro can't change. So we'll just, you know, we'll see his... Oh, randomize the map again? Dude, I'm on fire for remembering to do shit today. I'm like borderline competent. He's not... <laughs> He's not dog shit? I... I mean, no, okay. Tretch is not dog shit. In melee combat, he's actually, like, human shit. Like, a little bit better, I think. You know, in terms of not smelling quite as bad. Yes, you just shave lol. Adokoi, nothing... Oh, really? I re All I remember about crabs is that thing in Jackass where the dude shaves his pubes at, like, everybody, like, all the crew shaves their pubes into a thing, and then they, they get that Aaron guy to glue him on his face and, like, dress as a terrorist. You could not get away with that sketch these days, by the way. Like, is anybody, you ever think about, like, how far, how, like how so offended people would be by that now like there would people's you know modern day delicate sensibilities like how offended for the cat crap like yeah when he gets in the in the back of the cab and the guy like he thinks it's real he thinks he's getting kidnapped by the fucking taxi driver with a gun 
dude that was such a crazy sketch that was that that was legendary but like they tell him my favorite bit is when they say who brought crabs to the party and then he fucking boffs because <laughs> he has like pu everybody's pubes stuck to his face with crabs in it all right i'm gonna ready up <laughs> all right what's he taking how do you okay i'm sorry nurgle has like zero anti-large so oh an, an anti-infantry chaos knights of nurgle do sec what 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 are you thinking this is unprecedented what is this? It's a doomsday competition. So it's 1v1 doomsday and winner stays on. So if you win, you stay on. And then, the but you have to keep the same army, right? And then somebody else comes in and builds something to try and beat you. And then it's just back and forth, back and forth. You just, you know, like, like top trumps. If you ever played that game as a kid, the card game, where it's like, my card's better than your card. I take your card and then it's back and forth until somebody gets bored and leaves. This makes no sense. You mean like his army makes no sense? Or, uh, this premise makes no sense, because the premise makes sense. So, what even is this? What is- what is that? Okay, it's- it's Doomstack 1v1s, so winner stays on. So whoever wins stays on, and then another person builds a Doomstack. I thought this was simple to grasp. Rock, paper, Doomstack. Yeah. Okay, dude, I- I- I really do like Chaos Knights. Oh, look at these fucking wep- dude. Oh, CA did a good job with the models for the Chaos Knights. The remodels with the big cab and stuff and these lances. They actually look so bitchin' now. Look at the- oh, the cinematics. So cool. I don't- there, there's no- there's no way that the lances win this. Like, it just isn't gonna happen. The crab stack has this by a landslide. And it's the crabs winning by a landslide. He's not even flanking. What? <laughs> it's everybody's first time in PvP. Guys, come on. Like, from a tactical perspective, at least wrap them up. Get get around the back. So encircle these crabs. I just realized that the Realm of Siege now has crabs. Is this what... This is definitely not what the inside of, you know, Kairos looks like. All right. You know what? They're faring a lot better than the Anti-Lodge did, kind of. No, they're getting chewed up. Chaos Knights are... Ooh, and a Winds of Death for some reason. That... Oh, wow. That did way more damage than I expected from a Winds of Death. Okay, does Doomstack implies all one unit, or can we mix multiple? No. Okay, a Doomstack is an entire army made up of one unit type. That's the entire premise of a Doomstack. It's a... 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 a do I don't know where the name comes from, actually. It's probably got some, uh, like, somebody. Who made up the term Doomstack, or is that just a thing that happened? Adoko, what is, even is this? You you explained it, and I refuse to listen or understand. <laughs> uh, you forgot what? Dude, <laughs> he fucking forgot one. Dude, come on. You're going to need every horseman that you can get. He's actually doing okay. Ooh. Okay, a lot of debuffs are happening, though. And the poison is really going to harm their, uh, their armor-piercing damage potential. So, you know, in a vacuum, Chaos Knights with Nur of Nurgle with Lances could potentially chew through this crab stack. <laughs> he totally forgot one. I mean, it was, I think it was foolish of Rusero to let his crabs get surrounded. This is an interesting fight. This is going to be a long fight, much like every single Nurgle fight fucking ever. This is going to take at least 45 minutes. Adokoi, I just got here. How does 1v1 Doomstack work? I, I'm gonna... I'm actually... This meme, I can't even... Please stop. Please, 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 please. It's... Okay. <laughs> Doomstacks is from Paradox Games, I think. Like, EU4, where through 200, 300k armies clash late game. You just gather troops in one province, hence the name. Oh, that's interesting. I have no idea what that means. At all. <laughs> oh! Here come the knights, charging back into the crabs. The crabs return to fire. Let's get some cin uh, some cinematic shots of the crab fights. Look at him grinding away. Man, these these mammoth skull crabs. Amazing, 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 dude. This is taking us so long. <laughs> What's Total War Three? <laughs> Regiments around or not? Yeah, 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 regiments around are totally okay. And advise, you should be taking regiments of renown in these armies. 
because it's it, it's the same unit type it just happens to be a special spicy one so it's like an advantage if you can pick a doomstack that has a regiments of renown and isn't sweaty then you, you've got you're putting all your eggs in the correct basket you know what i mean what the fuck bricky sounds weird on this stream bricky what is the wait is the sound bad what do you mean what do you mean man Does this competition also allow hero units in a doom stack? So like 19 fire bellies or tomb princes? Absolutely, yes. Why not? Fuck it. I feel like it's gonna descend into into hero only uh, armies because hero armies are kind of superior because of all their their abilities and shit. But if you get something to counter them, you know, like I don't know. It can all be, everything can be countered. There's a counter army for every build, you know what I mean? Like, if you take, just, just try not to take s sweaty units, you know what I mean? Try and take some spicy, fun uh, armies. That's the only, that's my only rule, and it's not even a rule, is try not to take sweaty stuff. I don't know, is a Cathay Doomstag even possible? Absolutely, what do you mean? Fucking Jade Lancer Doomstag? Um... Uh, I'm I okay. It's the Iron Hail Gunner Doomstack, underrated in my opinion. But it depends on what the enemy take. If you if you take an Iron Hail Gunner Doomstack in a checker formation, you might actually you know lose. <laughs> you probably lose. I it you know you could make it work. It really depends how good you are at piloting these armies. You know what I mean? Holy shit! This is taking a long time. Oh my god. Okay, we're banning Nurgle from the tournament. <laughs> this is taking so long. This is what happens when Nurgle fights anybody, though, right? Good God. This is every Nurgle army. This is like a simulation for what every Nurgle fight uh, turns into lately. I feel like okay maybe we just ask them to fast forward guys just so this is there's not a lot of tactics going on so if you can if you guys can hear me which i know you can slap that shit on fast forward and let's just chew through this <laughs> because we're gonna be here for 45 minutes this is just a time thing right Ooh. okay so the chaos lord of oh there we go good boys good boys very good boys my homies vampire fleet admiral of pistols versus the chaos lord of nurgle who wins that fight actually because of like, wait, is he on a horse too? He is, so the, the anti-lodge of this hero is actually gonna be in- No, okay, wait, never mind. The sword variant with a ranged weapon. Yeah, the fucking Chaos Sorcerer wins that fight, right? Oh, wait, okay, Nurgle's folding. The crabs are coming out on top, unsurprisingly. Wait, will spread- What was that? Will spread- Are they just using- Are they cheesing with spells? Something's going on in the background here. Eject them both. <laughs> No, <laughs> somebody has to win this because somebody's got to stay on. But unfortunately, it's going to be one of these armies. But then again, you can take something that isn't, you know, the longest battle of all time. It looks like the crabs are going to win this just based on the fact that these are in. It's like infantry versus monstrous. And they're so tanky, dude. Running Promethean Gunnery Mob are phenomenal. And they can shoot when they're in melee combat. They're just they're just ridiculously strong. Crabs, crabs. Oh, I don't know if they folded. Okay, the crabs win again. That's three wins in a row for crabs. Have crabs lost yet? Who took crabs? Somebody defeat this crab stack. My God, well fought, uh, and and and, and uh, guy, Nurgle guy, well fought. Interesting army. I would have gone for an anti-large army though in this kind of a fight. It would have helped you tremendously. You need that anti-large damage bonus over a long period of time, right? Like that is just kind of a go-to, but. A ranged army could also work. You just need something armor piercing to get through all of this fucking, you know, 120 armor. Because that's what's really going to be the strength of this army is that 120 armor. Like, like I said, you probably could have won with that that um, Skaven Doom stack we saw a couple of turns ago. That anti large one, because they do a lot of damage. And okay, reward those who win plus three in a row with what? A fucking hand job? What do you mean? How am I supposed to reward this? Like what? 
If you win three in a row, how about this? If you win five in a row, you can change your army, but you can still stay on, huh? What do you think? That a fair rule? Reward them with crabs. Kiss on the lips. All right, I'll give you a soft kiss on the forehead if you win 30. Yes, how about that? Okay, R Rusora, if this crab stack wins two more times, you can switch your army. Give them channel memberships. Ooh. Wait, doesn't that cost me a shit ton of money? I don't know how that works. Google to stop crab dominance. <laughs> but you could easily... T All right, they're ready to... Let's see what he's going to take. What is this... He's got to take something non-sweaty. He doesn't have to take something non-sweaty. I hope he's taking something no that isn't sweaty. Oh, dude. An anti lodge Necropolis Knight's Halberd Doomstack. Now this... Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. It's it's all anti-large. It might not win. Who knows? Are they do they have armor piercing? They're gonna need it. Who know? He didn't. Okay, he forgot the gold chevrons, which is gonna put him at a pretty big dis, big disadvantage here. Remember to gold chevron up your army, because uh, it's really gonna t get the most out of it. Beg for steam tanks. <laughs> I beg for steam tanks. That's a sweaty army though. That's a really difficult army to take down, too. Like, how do you even beat a steam tank? This is why I don't want it to get sweaty. Uh, okay, that being said, the rotting Promethean gunnery doom stack is a little sweaty, but it's just really fucking strong. We start this. Wait, what are these? Yeah, armor piercing, anti large. What's the anti large bonus? 32! Damn, dude. Okay, these guys, they could do it. If they had the gold chevrons. That would put them up maybe like 45, 50 almost melee defense. That would have been great, damn. The Crumpless Knights suck. Dude, all cavalry sucks. Are you serious? At least they're monstrous cavalry. At least they've got that, that little bit of fun in there. I would argue the Necropolis Knights are better. Dude, this man is stance. Look at his boner. He's got that. <laughs> He's got that light skin stance. <laughs> He's got that light bone stare. Uh, let's see how he tackles this. He, he, if he wraps around them... Okay, here's the thing, though. These Necropolis Knights are going to do a lot better than... Um, than the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Nurgle army that we saw previous. <laughs> I don't call that no-skin stare. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Snack for life. Oh, man. These boys are stance too, though. They're they're chilling. They're being chilling on the back of these crabs. God, your ass must hurt so bad riding on these things. Oh, all oh, right. They're not single entity things. I okay. Bonus points for putting uh, Queen Kalita on top of a uh, on top of a snake mound. That was big. That was big brain. That was big brain. Okay, you can see. You can tell that Almadeus is. Um, more experience in the PvP scene. That being said, he didn't put gold chevrons on, so maybe not. Adokai, they got no ass. <laughs> what ass? They're skeletons. <laughs> That's true. They got bony asses. So maybe they're they're the ones hurting the crabs with their little bony butts. Our, 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 dude, I'm turning to fucking Scooby Doo again. Our regiments of renowned armies allowed. Not full regiments of renowned armies, but you can have the one regiments of renowned unit in your army. Yeah, see, look, look at that damage, right? The, the reason for the high damage is because of the, the anti lodge. So instead of 55 weapon strength when they're attacking an, an, a large target, they have an extra 32, which brings them up to what? 587. <laughs> I'm so bad at math, dude. 87, 36 of that is uh, gonna be armor pen, too. So that, that's solid. Ooh, they're chewing, th dude. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Better idea right here. Look at the damage. This is what I'm talking about. This is why anti-large bonus is actually so good. Look, oh, one of them is routing. They may win. I'm telling you, they're not even gold shaver. They may win. Ooh. This is close. Adokoi versus basic edition. <laughs> Light bear sled stack. Oh, dude, please don't go with a kiting stack. That would be so annoying. You would have to if you're gonna go with a light bear sled doom stack. You gotta you gotta like you gotta trade. You gotta give and take. You gotta use some melee. You gotta retreat. You gotta use some melee. You can't just kite. 
because then you're gonna win every single fight you could just take you know in theory a goblin wolf rider archer doom sec and then <laughs> i don't know like make it work <laughs> Ooh, the, okay yeah the necropolis knights are slowly trading out losses in the long term this is the problem they don't have good melee defense 37 32 they're, they're going to be struggling to hit through this 59 like defense but if he managed to take that curse of the years that's going to be helpful down there takes their um never mind that's on the wrong enemy another blob fight here but what do you do against the the, the all-encompassing crab doom stack oh they're chewing them at the flanks a little bit here I'm curious, I'm curious. This is actually like a good 50-50. They're both being chewed down. It looks like the Necropolis Knights are actually kind of winning a little bit though. They've got higher numbers. They've got, they're, they're, they're outlasting them. I'm telling you, it's that damage. Damage is worth more. Wait, oh shit, did I miss a donut? Wait, do I have a lure box turned on? What happened? That should be working. Is it just really quiet because everything is so loud? Damn, Vipera Ursini with a 200 sec. Wait, sec is Swedish Krona, right? Swedish Crows. Rewari Mani for a champion. Is that fucking French? Hold on, I'm gonna tr Google Translate that. I don't know what the hell you just said, my friend. Translate. Thank you for the donor, though. He said... Okay, I don't know why... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't bother translating it at all. That is not English. That's is that French? I have no idea what that dude said. I do not speak whatever language that is. Oh, maybe it's Swedish Because it's the Swedish Krona or whatever it is French. I have no idea what's happening Thank you for the dono my dude What's the current two dooms? The current two doomsticks is a Necropolis Knights with Halberds anti large doomstack versus the pr running Promethean Guard doomstack and the running Prometheans are getting defeated even though they have triple gold chevron gets an unchevron Necropolis Knights doomstick. This is actually a, a decent fight. I didn't think it I was I was like maybe the one, maybe they won't win. This is nuts. Alco, are you magnificent Nublar Molester? How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I don't know who you've been talking to. I'm an ogre molester, son. He said reward money for cha uh, champions. Oh, thank you very much, my dude. Thanks for translating. Because apparently Google Translate didn't want to. It was just kind of like, it did the <laughs> did the Google truck. The, the, I don't fucking know, dude. It didn't even detect that it was French. The bonus first lodge is giving them 32 melee attack too. I don't call Yeah, I know. Oh, really? Wait, is that what that does? Oh, shit, really? Bonus first lodge gives 32 melee attack and 32 weapon strength. That's okay. I am a little embarrassed that I didn't know that. Damn, the crabs are getting super outlasted. <laughs> Damn. This is close, man. I definitely think that the um the rotting Prometheans are gonna lose though. They're just gonna they're gonna hit like a, a, a critical point of binding and they're just gonna crumble. Yeah, here we go, crumbling. Weak binding, crumbling. Dude, the Necropolis Knights have got this. God damn. You love to see it. What an upset. Doesn't seem that close, to be honest. It's pretty close. I mean, if you look, if you're taking into account the health of these Necropolis Knights, and also that uh, Rosaro didn't split up at all and, and used that ranged advantage. Interesting. I would call this a this is definitely this is a close victory not maybe a pyrrhic victory even look at like look at the casualties if this was on a campaign map this this is like this is a pyrrhic victory 100 percent adokoi real question though can he add those chevrons after or is he stuck at none since it would technically change his army and their stats um yeah he's not allowed to add chevrons at this point my man fumbled the bag my man Am Amadeus fumbled the bag big time. But that's good. We get some switch ups, we get some changes. We'll see, we'll see. Adokoi, would flying range units be allowed against the pure melee doom stick? Um. Yes. 
because you're gonna have to i mean a and there you go pyrrhic victory tomb kings damn decently fucking close like yeah look lost one two like five units a lot of casualties on the one there's also not showing a lot of the casualties here because of the the, the entity model count and stuff damn russoro a hard fought loss but a hard fought one still good and that's like five wins in a row my my dude good stack good pick good choices well fought thanks for for jumping in lamal so the next player will win just has to use the same army but with chevrons <laughs> I mean technically that is technically allowed killer kitty let's see what faction they take man unless they're going bretonia that's an interesting pick dwarves <laughs> interesting okay not a lot of anti-large in the dwarf uh in the dwarf uh army composition but then again also pretty much no large units so there you go killer kitty is a weird name for a dwarf player Dwarves are a good pick, though. In this scenario, I think dwarves are a really good pick. Slayers incoming. Oh my god, a Slayer Doomstag would be so fun because it's going to absolutely chew through this Tomb King's Doomstag. And then immediately it's going to get stomped by the next person who fucking joins. Man, I'm dead. People join faster than the lobby registers is empty on my end at Okoy. Oh man, I'm sorry. Like, I am, it, once again, this is like when I do the, the Elden Ring um, fight clubs and shit. I have no control over who joins. I would have to like put a password on and DM people to pay. Like, I'm just, it's just like, it, it's whoever gets in, unfortunately. We could also, all, we could always do a version of this with 2v2s as well, so more people can join. Because that would be a lot of fucking fun. Right? A 2v2 version of this? And then we could even do a 4v4 version of this. But my FPS, the FPS would be really fucking wonky. But a 2v2 version of this would be great. All right, here we go. They're ready up. Two doomsticks versus two doomsticks. Exactly. That would be a lot of fun. Oh, it's the troll hammer torpedo doomstick. Anti lodge, full missile strength, gold chevrons with Thoric. Okay, this. Okay, but here's the thing. They suck at melee. There's no way they're gonna win this. What a fucking risky move by the dwarves. Holy shit, dude. This is gonna be awesome. Because, like, they're terrible in melee, so if he can close the distance, he's gonna beat the shit out of this army. <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad they went with this and not a predictable um, anti-large doomstack. Dude, that's fun. This is gonna be insane. Maybe I'm underestimating Trollheimer torpedoes, but, like... He's gonna have to set up a really good composition to be able to, to beat this army. Lol, he needs to really check aboard this. Yeah, exactly. If he goes in like a flat line, because look how small the army actually is. What? 28 entities per model, only a 90 range too. Low rate of fire, but very good damage and a crazy anti lodge if I remember, right? No, only 24 anti lodge bonus, 10 explosive, which is not gonna help them against... Damn. Lots of armor piercing though, which is good. Like a like a shit ton. Dude, I'm curious. I'm actually so curious. I this is just gonna be a like our troll hammer torpedoes that good. Like that's the whole test for this. <laughs> I don't quite. If he checkerboards and uses the the rune the right runescape, rune magic, runescape and rune magic to keep his units with high melee stats and snipes the enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's entire. Oh, he's setting up an. Oh, look at this checkerboard shit, dude. Oh man, I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. I really am. It's your boy. He looks really strange with a beard. Oh, yeah, right. My thoughts exactly. Micro the match. Dude, oh man, I'm so I'm so fascinated to see how this is gonna go. He even took, dude. He even. Adopted a defensive position up against the mountain edge. That's that's fucking smart. Yeah, look cuz now how is he gonna flank? He's got like protective barriers to stop uh, To stop uh, Amadeus from flanking that's actually smart This is some big brain shit What advice could you give for someone that sucks straight garbanzo beans at combat? <laughs> garbanzo beans. Oh, thank you for the dono a wet saxophone. That's a good name. Um, First of all, dry your saxophone. But also, uh, I'm probably not the best person to give advice to about, like, 
I mean, I, I mean, I have a lot of time in the Warhammer games. I don't think I'm particularly bad at these games. I just think when you compare me to people that are, like, competitive and really good at these games, I would say, like, maybe don't worry about being good. Worry about having fun. And then you'll get better the more that you have fun, if that makes any sense. Just keep putting the time in. Get better at the game. But ultimately, focus on fun. Don't focus on being, like, super fucking good and sweaty and whatever. Unless you enjoy that, you know what I mean? If Unless you're a guy who, like, derives fun from just be having very very strong armies and shit and being very good at the game you know competitive people and whatever yeah focus on having fun don't focus on on the sweaty elements Ooh, what's going on here dude he's like <laughs> is this a staring competition <laughs> this is like an intimidation move you're gonna have to just Amadeus, he's not gonna push out. You're gonna have to push in. There's no <laughs> way that uh, this this door stack is gonna move from this position. It's too good of a defensive stance. You're just gonna have to push, I think. Mexican standoff. This is like, yeah, this is a Mexican. What's a Mexican standoff between two people? Is that like a <laughs> a Cuban standoff? Like what? Texas standoff? There's probably a name for it. Oh, here we go. Oh, let's check this damage out. All right, here we go. Ooh, no, it's not enough. That isn't even close to enough damage. Oh, no, no, wait, yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, and that checkerboard formation, you, you see, you needed to charge all at once or, or there's just no point. Oh, my God, so many dead snakes. Yep, they're breaking on the left flank here. The column formation was an interesting try. Oh, and he's closed the gap over here on the right. Can he get in and shut them down? That's... Oh, wait, who died? <laughs> Kalina's fucking dead! <laughs> Kalina is immediately dead. Oh, but can they... See, they, they close them... Dude, they're chewing through them in the melee combat, obviously. Although, 125 armor on these uh, hammer torpedoes. And Thorek is still alive. Dude, oh wait, melee attack 24, root of doom can cause fear. That might cause these guys to um, to uh, break a little bit. Although they cause fear, so that means they're, they're immune to it. Nope, they're either breaking them on the left flank. It's not going to be enough. If they'd have committed in like maybe a line formation like this, if they if they'd have pushed like this and lined their shit out and then pushed, then I think that would have been enough to maybe close the gap. But uh. I uh, know, may maybe though, maybe, maybe this blob is going to be enough to chew through these dwarves, but it just doesn't look like it. <laughs> I can't believe Kalina got sniped so quickly. Hold on, have I got camera obstructed? Oh, I can't change my physical settings. Every time I zoom in on the unit, it disappears. Never mind. Game making me look like a fool. Ooh, a little bit of breaking in the middle here. It's still 50. Oh, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. The, the dwarves are winning in the in the uh, morale department pretty decisively. <laughs> Damn, look at these snakes die horrendously. Oh, <laughs> action shot. No. Dude, wow. Yeah, yeah, they're going down. Trollhammer chip eaters are just too much. For the uh, Necropolis Night Doomstack. Oh, and they're crumbling. They're crumbling. The snakes crumble. Oh my god, that was fast. Holy shit. God damn. Yeah, it, it was just too much. It was too much. Damn. Good composition, Amadeus. Well fought. Oh man, he, he bailed out of that quickly. Good fucking fight. Damn, but who's gonna take down the Troll Haven Torpedo Doomstack? It's gonna have to be, what, a lot of powerful... Foot Lord single entities, maybe? Mega Knight. I'm pretty sure. Do we have Mega Knight in? I don't think so. I think Mega Knight's new. <laughs> Snake Genocide. Damn. All right, let's see who, we, who he's going to be stepping up to the plate this time to take down the Iron Drake Tor Trailhammer Torpedo Doomsday. Interesting. Interesting comp. I don't even know what I. Oh, the Corn Doomsday. And they're ready. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, let me change the map real quick. Witch Grove, I keep forgetting to change the map. Yeah, Witch Grove is fine. All right, here we go. My bad, I made you guys unready up. <laughs> Thanks for the donos, by the way, guys. 
I'm gonna make sure. Oh, it's the full fucking blood crushes of anti infantry armor piercing blood crushes of core doomstick. They are large though. I would have taken an infantry doomstick. I would have because the although troll hearts and hammer torpedoes aren't useless against large, I would have taken a single entity doomstick. Something small. Bad choice. And uh, we will see. It really depends how much damage. That's the thing. Blood crushers are not fast. Like. I was typing ogres for the password, not ogre singular. Oh, yeah. Make sure you read the description, guys, for all the info. I mean, the, the info is basically try not to take sweaty doomsticks. The password is ogre and the session name is like something like what I put. Adokoi, can we use tactics? <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> what a weird question. No, no tactics. You, If you're not running at each other like mongoloids, you're fucking banned. How dare you? It's a strategy game. <laughs> yes, you can use tactics. <laughs> what a cute question. Crabs still on top? Yep, yeah, crabs have had the most wins, but a Promethean gunnery might uh, mob doomstack. Of course. I mean... All right, here we go. It, I mean, he's going to have to take up a defensive position, but... Bloodcrusters are no joke, man. If they close the gap, and they've got armor piercing, they've got anti-infantry, they have 100 armor, they have um, only 62 speed, though, so they're arguably slower, and, it, and the more kills they get, the stronger they're gonna get. More than 80 kills, there's no way. Not against this army. 28 unit models per, en like, per unit. There's no way. A Herald of Corn too. Dude, this is a thematic as fuck Doomstack, though. If nothing else, I love the look of this Doomstack. Just a shit ton of blood crushers led by a, by a Herald of Corn. Love it. This is like aesthetically a very cool doomsday. <laughs> he's taking his time to prep on the hill. Oh man, okay, but he's gonna need to. The problem is he, there's no terrain which benefits him here. Oh, there's like a rock, but that's about it. Was that, <laughs> was that Thoric? He looks embarrassed that he just yelled like that. I've never... No, that wasn't him. What was that? Sweaty, sweaty? I mean, these aren't particularly sweaty doomsticks. A sweaty doomstick would be like... A something with just massive monstrous units or something. Like a... I almost said a giant doomstick. Like a dragon doomstick. I don't know. Something... You know what a... Everybody knows what a sweaty doomstick is. What up, Okoy? What up, JY? The rock yelled. <laughs> Imagine. Dwarfs are basically rocks. They're rocks with little legs. Man, blood crushers are so cool. Just big mechanical good boys. All right, here they go. They're on the move. Blood crushers closing the distance. If the blood crushers decide to go for a wraparound, which it looks like he is, oh, he's gonna surround him. Dude, this could be good. This could be good. If he closes the gap and really gets in there without taking too much damage. Does Okoy know about Dean? Dean? Oh, you mean his announcement and stuff? And to, like his, uh, the Dean Hall? Dean, wait, was that announcement by Dean Hall? It was by uh, Andy, right? Andy Hall, whatever. Dean's nuts. Was that that better not have been a, a Dean's nuts joke? Now the Dean scream. Oh, the Dean scream. The hia, hia. Hold on. I'll play the Dean scream for anybody that doesn't know it. It's just the best scream ever. Oh, it's the best scream ever. It fucked his career up. <laughs> he did a scream. He's the, this man, this basically, D, D, it's like Dean something. He's like a politician who did a scream that sounded so funny, it ruined his career. <laughs> the man screamed so good, it fucked his career. <laughs> Howard Dean, I have no idea. Wilhelm scream. Now the Dean scream is superior to the Wilhelm scream. The Wilhelm scream is, oh dude, there's no way. No, that damage is not good enough, son. This checkup formation is not clean enough. Oh my god, he's closing the gap. But can he get in there? Oh, he's getting overwhelmed. Here they come. 
boss getting bashed up. Yeah, you see, you see? It may have been not the best idea, but if he can sink his fangs in, his little blood crusher things in here, he's gonna get a win. He just is. There's no draw troll helmets repeaters are not good at melee combat. There goes the root of doom again. I'm pretty sure these guys cause fear. Fucking every unit causes fear. I really don't see the point in, in uh certain abilities like that. Like fear is useless because like most units in the game outside of swordsmen cause fear. Like it's useless. Okay, is Nurgle not allowed? No, Nurgle is allowed. It's just really boring <laughs> because they they take 17 years to to do to do a fight. You said heroes are allowed, right? Heroes are allowed, yes. Dude, the troll hammer torpedoes are just getting ripped to pieces here. It's just not enough. You, they, you just can't do it. It's just too much. Oh no! No, Thoric! Damn, Thoric got taken down like a sack of shit. And there, that's it. That's it. It's over. They're wavering. No, it's not enough. Corn. This corny ass doomstack took down the dwarf tro troll hammer torpedo doomstack. But that's this is what I expected. I expected it to be like a really consistent game of top trumps. Just like, like, like king of the hill. Just like you take it, I take it. We're trading wins, hits. People are just like beating each other left and right. We're getting a lot of people in and out. You know, as long as nobody takes like a super sweaty, nasty doomstack that nobody can beat. But eventually, somebody's gonna accidentally stumble over something that's kind of like a beat all, right? Mmm, the delicious taste of bodying. <laughs> all right, corn. All right. Literally all corn. Calm down. Good old game of oddball. All right. Yeah, Meta Knight, Mega Knight stays on with his blood crust to calm that well fought though with the troll hammer suit. Uh, he was that killer killer kitty. I think it was. Oh my God. It's flying taco. No fucking way. <laughs> so this is flying taco for anybody who doesn't know. Huge player in the PvP scene. Probably my favorite guy in the PvP scene, honestly. Like, always takes fun doomsex, always pushing the limit. He plays ogres in, like, all the tournaments. A man after my own heart. A solid guy in the PvP community. Unbelievably good player. Has figured out how to make ogres, like, good in the PvP scene. Solid. Let's see what he takes here. He's going Siege, though, so maybe, like, not ogres. Interesting. Warriors of Chaos. Like, we'll see where this goes, but, like... If anybody can beat this, uh, this Blood Crush as a corn doom stack, it's Taco. Uh, that's clearly not Flying Taco. Learn to read, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my mistake, of course. This is not Flying Taco. This is somebody else, some other guy. Let him do a Greasus doom stack. <laughs> Dude, if he took a Greasus in this and beat it, you could take an. I'm pretty sure you could beat this with an Ogre doom stack. There's a lot of stuff that you could take this down with. Ogres are, are very good at taking out Lodge. They actually have like some decent anti-Lodge units and a lot of armor piercing, as you would expect. They're big men. Big men with a lot of armor piercing. All right, let me just switch up the map. Sorry, you guys have to re-ready up. All right, Warriors of Chaos versus Khorne. Let's see what the Taco is deciding to take. Where's the Gotrek Doomstack though? I don't quite. <laughs> Full Gotrek. I mean, he is technically a hero, but that is might be cheese. That may be cheese. That's a pretty cheesy army, or if not a cheesy- Oh my god, it's the fucking Aspiring Champions Doom stack with the Regiments down. This is an interesting stack. The Aspiring Champions Doom stack is nuts. I have done it myself. I've done it in the campaign. It's insane. Led by Sathoriel, the Everwatch, Everwatcher though, is really interesting. So he's going with like, for the shields, for the flying. Interesting, interesting. I mean, it's not like you can get army buffs, so this is like a solid build. Definitely not, definitely not a cheese, a, uh, a sweaty doomstack, too. Let him cook. <laughs> Adokoi, where are the doomstack doomstack? What the fuck does that mean? Adokoi, full Krell doomstack, though. That would be very, very sweaty, at the, but, <laughs> I mean, technically not cheating. This is a pretty cool map. I like this McDonald's-ass high elves arch over here. Here's the thing, though. I wish that this was part of the level and not just part of the surroundings. Because, like, this is my problem with every single map that CA puts out for Warhammer. Is, like, all the maps are kind of boring. You know what I mean? Like, they're all just flat, open areas with, like, maybe a little bit of terrain deformation and stuff. Give me, like... Imagine a map that was this, with this in the middle, and then, like, a lot of lanes that go through here with, like, trees in the middle, right? Because then you could, like, kite people and, and, and like... 
if you're playing the you know what i mean it like changes up the the, the maps a lot like that would be an awesome choke point battle at the very least you know it, it would this is it would block a lot of ranged opportunities so would, you would have to have like these columns i just think it would be like way more interesting i want to see more maps like that it's why i was such a big fan of the maps in troy because they had like huge rays like cliff edges and and like forested areas and bushes and stuff i think the troy maps are actually better than the warhammer maps they just are they're more updated it's like the one thing that troy did better than any of the other games is maps unfortunately the rest of the game was a little bit you know not the coolest <laughs> i'm not huge on the troy time period though so whatever so Leo i felt the same thing yeah i feel like the maps for warhammer could be way better also kill me with the circle tree maps you know like those maps where they, there's just this there's little circles of trees around all over the map and it's just like a flat dude kill me shoot me to death and kill me those maps suck like ass see a interesting terrain pieces background scenery yeah because like look how good they are dude like look how nice this is stone archways huge like like they're nailing it like it, it continues on really not what wait what is that what <laughs> is that okay maybe not so great with the sur <laughs> i just saw i was like what kind of scenery is that that is um that's a little mistake there we're not gonna look at that <laughs> the spire oh god here comes that oh wait it's the the ever watcher i thought he took um kairos all right, interesting, interesting. Just going straight up the middle with the Aspiring Champions Doomstack. Can he take out Taco with this army? Who knows? The Blood Crosses of Corn are... I mean, it's an intimidating stance. I just don't think they're going to win, though. Although, anti-infantry. And the Aspiring Champions are infantry. I just think that they're not going to have the... Uh, they just don't have enough to shoot through them. But we're, we're going to see. We're going to see. They're just charging straight in. Sothril could, I mean, Taco is an experienced player, though, so he could be, he could have some shit up his sleeve. Coming in, charge bonus not going to do much good. Oh, look at all the damage they did with their charge bonus of 55. Okay, let's see who pulls out here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the firing champions, but I could be surprised here. Taco has to blob. Yeah, with the superior melee defense and the fact that the Skullcrushers could do a wraparound. Ooh, interesting take interesting pull here oh aspiring champions are getting chewed through a little bit here the problem is the aspiring champions i just don't think they have the damage to chew through the blood crushers but the blood crushers definitely have the damage potential to chew through these little men with skulls on their face Ooh, this i mean this is a pretty nice looking visual effect wait 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 that's 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 huge final transmutation upgraded that's gonna chew through these guys because they have a lot of armor I see what's going on here. He's gonna be, he's using Sothoriel to chew through the damage here. Like I said, experienced player. Transmutation of lead, also good in this scenario. Final transmutation. I just see, I don't know a lot about a lot of spells, but this is what you want, the, the red that you want to be going down. Adokai, do wog units count as regiments of renown for balance purposes? Um. Yeah, okay, Doomstacks are, are, are entirely based on the, on the, yeah, fuck it, yeah, fuck it. Take, take campaign units, take whatever the fuck you want. Take whatever you want, and, and, and for campaign units. Campaign units, regiments are now all fine, but it has to be an army made up of entirely the same unit. So like, say if, so for example, if you're taking the Doomstacks, uh, uh, if you take a Doomwheel Doomstack, you can take eight, you can take 17 units of um of regular doom wheels then you can take the regiments of renown doom wheel and you can take the campaign doom wheel variant the one that um has regen i think unless that's the regiments right whatever you know what i mean you can take um whatever variation you want as long as it's the same unit type you should regret this but i sure don't oh god you motherfuckers got some shit up your sleeve oh man it looks like and damn i can't believe it taco might actually lose this the aspiring champions though are extremely tanky so we'll see how this goes oh no 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 wait never mind never mind i think they're actually taking the win here it's dude this is like a 50 50 if you look at the the uh the balance of power here completely 50 50 this would go either way blood crystal are going maybe taking like a slight edge in the damage department but the aspiring champions have just such a larger health pool 
and way better melee defense stats. They're just they're just so much better in the tanky department. Kind of actually, you know what? It's closer than I'm than I'm thinking it is. I think blood are just better than I imagine they are. Monstrous cavalry too. One of the most underutilized unit types in the game, I think. Like ones that I kind of write off because they're cavalry, but are actually pretty good because they're still monstrous. They're just you know they can beat it up and draw and uh, draw out combat. They've got the they've got the mass that we all want out of cavalry. Are any hero units not allowed? Okoy. Um, I guess like a full Gotrek dube stack or like a full Krell dube stack are a little bit cheesy, and we'll see how they go. But somebody could probably pull something out to win, so we'll see. We'll see. Oh my god, a full- oh my god, the full final transmutation! This might be enough to change the tides out of the favor of Blood Crusher, because... Damn, this is so close, holy shit. Okay, balance of power edging out in favor of the aspiring champions now, after that cast. And of course, the Heralds of Corn, I'm pretty sure are demons too, right? Yeah, they're demonic, so they're gonna crumble and they're gonna die. Yeah, here we go, unstable. They're going back to the realms of Corn. Oh, and of course, there's the fully healed Sartorial the Everwatcher, who is all, is also a demon, though, so if his leadership gets broken. No, it looks like the Aspiring Champions are definitely going to win here. They're pulling ahead. Yeah, they're crumbling. Aspiring, their Aspiring Champions are just too much, man. The transmutation of land. Damn, and fucking Taco snipes that shit. Damn. Pulling ahead with an anti-infantry uh, infantry doomstack against anti-infantry monstrous cam. Who would have thunk it? I'm not super surprised that Taco won that, though. Taco is a tremendously experienced player. Damn, dude. The Severed Claw have got to be one of the strongest regiments around in the game. They're just so insane. Shielded, crazy melee defense, crazy armor. Just nuts. They've got- they've, they're easily got to be one of the strongest. Crazy anti-large, mock of Sinch. Just- just great. Just such good units. They look amazing, too. And okay, where is the Rat Monkey? Oh, shit! What do you mean? I got regular monkey. I got ogre monkey. He's kind of my favorite. He was done from the ground up. Maybe, uh, let's vary it up then, huh? Fuck it. Uh, we'll throw in Bretonian monkey. We'll, we'll put in the Bretonian monkey for a little while, yeah? Fuck it. We'll vary it. <coughs> oh shit! My bad. Shouldn't have popped that up. All right, so aspiring champion new set with Sartorial the Everwatcher. I feel like I just saw something sweaty coming out of out of uh, Giroy Habubski. <laughs> what a name! A uh, Gr Giroy Giroy. How do you say this name? How do we pronounce that? Somebody spell that shit out phonetically for me. Fedora Monkey is superior. Eh, well, we'll we'll give Fedora Monkey a chance. Or I think you mean the Nurgle Monkey, the Festus Monkey. Yes, corn. You should ban magic. Uh, I might ban magic if it starts getting to the point where, like, because you could carry a, a doomstack just based on the, lo the 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 lord alone. You know what I mean? But it just gives you that slight edge. I don't quite. Do you have a tomb king's monkey? I do not know. I do not have a tomb king's monkey. Da -da -da -da. Cathay Doomstack. Hey, it's nice to see somebody taking a Cathay Doomstack, but I feel like the only ones that you could take that would actually be effective. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to unready you here while I change the map. Broken Hill, Steps of Isha. Hey, look what? Look at this. There's like a choke point in the middle. This is what I'm talking about. Give me more maps like this, CA. Cram this shit in my ass. Siege Magic OP. Siege is a little bit OP, I will say. But it's just the benefit of that faction. You take a Siege Doomstack, you know, you get some, uh... You get some tanky units, you get some barrier shit. Oh my god, they took the Terracotta Sentinel Doomstack, headed by Miao Yang. Okay, this is a little bit sweaty. A full unbreakable monstrous gold chevron doomstack. God, okay, this is a little sweaty. <laughs> this is super sweaty, but, but, okay, here's the thing. If Taco loses this, whoever comes in next can counterpick the ever-living shit out of this doomstack. That's the benefit of this. At Okoy, oh, I see. That name is fine. <laughs> I knew it. It's not little. Yeah, this is a little sweaty. This is super, super sweaty, I will say. I I mean... Are they anti-infantry? No, they're not anti-infantry. So I guess that, that that's a slight D-benefit there. But shit tons of armor, fully unbreakable. That's going to be the kicker here. 
and they're also not demonic so their leadership has to fully go before they they actually crumble there's no crumbling mechanic for these guys though which i think is kind of stupid i think terracotta sentinels should have a crumbling mechanic like the um shit what are they called uh the this wog the guy the wa whatever the wog thingy is for um uh green skins the big the big stone guys that have crumbling i think these guys should have crumbling much like they do but with no damage potential it would offset their how strong they are also they should have a more intense wounds in that regard we'll see how this goes causes terror also not going to be good for their sparring champions because they do not have any resistances to any of that shit so they're gonna route like super super fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Miao Ying! <laughs> that scream, holy shit! Wow. Okay, Dragon Miao Ying also very sweaty, considering she has magic as well. I think that Miao Ying shouldn't be able to cast in her dragon form. Personally, I think she's a little bit OP, and the fact that she can cast fully in her dragon state. How the fuck are you gonna cast magic with with no arms? Oof, oof. Okay, the damage outright. They're just, okay, the inspiring champions just don't have the damage to take out this army. Maybe if they nuke Miao Ying out, but I just, I don't, this is, I feel like this is, has one outcome. Oh, Giroi Haboobski. You absolute sweaty motherfucker. Oh, Miao Ying getting. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, guys. Miao Ying looks, their dragon form looks stupid as fuck. Why the fuck did they think that this granny ass weave of hair was a good idea? I, I'm i sorry, it just looks so bad to me. Am I the only one who thinks it looks bad? Like, like Zhao Ming's dragon form looks so bitchin' and Miao Ying's dragon looks like a geriatric fucking pensioner. Debt Rita Repulsa hair, <laughs> right? Adokoi, IIRC, she can only guess one specific spell in Dragon Form. Oh! I haven't played her in a long time, I'll be honest. Last time I played Cathay, I replaced. Ooh, actually, you know what? A lot of damage going down here. Hold on. Is Sako gonna be able to pull this out? That's correct. That's a good chunk of damage there. Hold the phone here. <laughs> Look at Sunthrow getting chased around by the Dream of Miao Ying. <laughs> Although unbreakable, this could go. They, hey, hold on, hold on. This is Taco. We, we gotta not underestimate the Taco here. The Taco can put that seasoning on this bitch. Taco could put the slam down on the dragon, on the dragon lady. Can Taco come in clutch with an inspiring champion's win against the full fucking Terracotta Sentinel Deuce stack? Maybe. Minus 50 diplomatic currency with Galador. This is so loud. Can we just like watch from over here? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> it's nice and quiet. Ooh, the dragon arm thing coming in. What the fuck is this? God damn. Whoa, look at the, look at her personality. Look at the stippling on her personality. Damn, this statue goes hard. What a cool statue of of uh Man, I'm 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 bricked up. <laughs> Mommy, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I chat you fucking degenerates. Let's get in there and get some cinematic shots. I don't go if the terracotta sitting wins. Uh, can we clap back for something equally cheese? Because I know what we win here. Um, I mean, 100%. You're going to have to take something that can uh, beat out the Terracotta Sandal News stack. But don't underestimate Taco here because this is actually not as one-sided a fight as I, I was thinking. I mean, he really does, I think, maybe lack the tools to fully combat this doom stack. But, but you know what? It's not going as bad as you would think. Aspiring champions, after all, did receive a pretty hefty buff, so this could this could be closer than we think. I think they are definitely pulling ahead, though. I cannot deny that. Oh, that shield taken down in a single cast. God damn. So Thoria will be able to watch you get bodied. Get bodied by a singing dragon. I can't hear you. Okay, let me turn the game down a little bit here. 
Very loud. There we go. Just a smidge. Hopefully that's a little better. Fuck me, this is loud. Is that better, guys? Or did you turn it down more? I hate how, how loud these dudes are. You mean me or the, <laughs> or the fucking Sentinels? 23 can do second 20. God, get the fuck out of here, Jan. Wait, did somebody uh become a member too? Did I miss that? Oh, shit. Dive Shock. What's up, Dive? 18 months, my dude. Been in the pocket for a while. Witness me, tiny man. I, you have been witnessed. Wait, why is he keeping a Terracoth Sentinel over here? Did he just forget? <laughs> this dude's just fucking chilling. Better? I hear you just fine. Ooh, getting kited around, letting the shield regen. Very, very big brain of Taco to fight the trees, though, because that's gonna provide Terracot Sentinels with a, a negative to their melee attack, which is gonna be huge for him. I would have done this tree, this fight in the trees immediately. Dude, he's chipping away at him, though. Like, for real, for real. The real unfortunate thing here is the, the aspiring champions are weak to, um... They're, they're susceptible to leadership penalties, whereas Terracot Sentinels are not. These motherfuckers are unbreakable. They're never retreating. He's wasting his time chasing uh, the bird around, though. Although, Sartoria will be a big unit to get off the field. This is an interesting fight. It's not as one-sided as I thought it was going to be. I think that, but that, I think that's just Taco, though. <laughs> oh, fuck. I shouldn't have mentioned the goddamn Terracot Sentinel. I don't think that was intentional. I think you just forgot about it. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? God damn. Sentinels are such a bad unit though. What do you mean? They're giant unbreakable 600 weapon strength, 100 armor fucking. The only problem is they're slow. It's like their only debuff of this unit is they're, they're not particularly fast, but 48 speed and that slow. These things can outrun infantry. This is way closer than it has any business being. Like, a hundred percent. I don't think these Baron Champions are gonna win, but still. Giant fighting stone robot. Sounds like they had their own Okoi moment with that Sentinel man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn, look at these flying... Yeah, man, the Severa Claw in the pocket. How much damage have they got? Because they're going to be really coming out of their element here. 14,000 damage! My boy, my absolute boys. I'm an in clutch. God damn, yeah. Sentinel. <laughs> I feel like if I did a, uh, a video on Terra a Terracot Sentinel Doomstack video, it would be absurdly loud. I didn't realize how loud these motherfuckers were. Oh, four, okay, I'm watching this fight. Four aspiring champions with no health versus one Terracot Sentinel with no health. Who wins? Oh! Chipping away, chipping away. But who's gonna win? Okay, I'm, I'm only invested in this fight now. I want to know who wins this. No! Ah, one down. Okay, three versus one. Oh, come on! It's <laughs> The bird comes in clutch. Comes in, wax him in the ass. <laughs> 230. Oh, dude, that's so close. 232 versus 297. No, another one. No, <laughs> you bastard. No. Oh, man. Damn, dude. This is really this. I, I'm serious. This is close. Look how many of them are dead. Three down. Fucking. Four down. Like, no help, no help, no help, no help. This one's basically full. These ones all on the outfield are basically full. No, I think the Aspiring Champions are just, they're just too outclassed here. Unfortunately. Although, they're going to be hitting wounds, too. So, they, that's another 20% less, another 10% speed uh, debuff for a lot of these guys. Yeah, wounds is an effect. This could be clutched. It's going to be goddamn close, but this could be clutched, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. It's not gonna happen. Who knows? It's not gonna happen. There's no way. This is this is Unfortunately this is definitely gonna I mean obviously the Terracot Sentinels are gonna win. But, but uh 
an unbelievable play by Taco. I cannot believe how close he made this one lopsided fight. Permission to commit tax evasion? Don't ask me. Ask the federal government. <laughs> okay, on a wide open map, the Sentinels would have destroyed. Yeah, I guess so, but it's not like the aspiring champions can use their ranged advantage, dude. Like, I mean... <laughs> oh, shit! Sartorial took down one of the aspiring champions. Here's the thing, though. Sartorial can keep just flying away with his slightly superior movement speed and start sniping these Terracot Sentinels and then getting his shield back. Like... Technically, he could just win this if he cheeses and fighting a sweaty dude like like the uh, like this. That's kind of fair game I'm impressed with these inspiring champions though. I knew and I knew these guys were good, but uh, this is pretty insane Oh, dude, so they getting the leadership bonus over his units Adokoi, permission to raid the trade caravans. Dude, go for it. <laughs> That's 10k free gold right there. I mean, the trees gave the Sentinels a huge nerf. But yeah, that's true, that's true. 20% less weapon strength. I forget the rest. It won't actually show me. I think it's 20% uh, twenty percent less weapon strength, and then I, I think that's it, actually. Maybe a leadership debuff, I forget. Speed debuff, that's it. Weapon strength and speed. Man, this is close. This is weirdly close. He's only got, wait, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight uh, Sentinels left, which is just scattered little bits of aspiring champions here or there. What's the leadership on? 55 leadership, so it's tipping. 66 of their 305 versus their 11. What's that large elf-like Sentinel on the back? Oh, this? Um. I don't know. Just something. Some lady. Oh. No, Sathoriel's coming down. Is he duking it out? Is he giving up? Sathoriel, no! Sathoriel is going down like a man. I would have kept Sathoriel running around. Ooh, that animation, that tail whip. No, Sathoriel's getting chunked out here, dude. I don't know what Flying Tucker was thinking. Is he trying to, like, bait him out here? He's getting chewed up. Oh my god, Sathoriel! <laughs> the big bird is going down. He's rock steady. He's weak. Arms spaghetti. I don't know, those unbreakable statues sure look broken. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little sweaty. Nobody is denying that uh, that uh, his pick here for this fight was was not sweaty. Oh my god, the bird's getting shut down. Now that's gonna be it. There's no way. Unstable. As soon as he breaks, the uh, aspiring champions are gone. There it is. A pyrrhic, a pyrrhic victory though. God damn, well fought, Taco. There, holy shit. There's not a lot of people who could have pulled that out of how bad of a, of a, uh, a fight that was. Dude, look how many uh, fucking Terracotta Sentinels actually died. 15, like, like, a thousand value for each, but then like 1,400, 2,000. Look at the value trade here for a lot of these. 2,600 value for the Severed Claw. 9,400 value on Sartorial. Honestly, it was Sathoria to carry more than anything. 55k, probably all just because of the, uh, that change on. Unfortunately, rule-wise, Taco has to be, uh, swapped out. But, incredibly well for Taco, my man. I was rooting for you there against that, against this sweaty stack. What are you gonna do? It's technically not against the rules. I can't make, because it's technically subjective, I can't really make it against the rules for Terracotta Sentinel, but it really depends what happens here. Like, if this gets, if this wins a certain amount of fights, he can change. And if he changes something else sweaty, then I'm going to kick him. <laughs> I'm just going to boot him. <laughs> Taco deserved that win. He did, he did. Taco technically deserved the win. Give me some of that theme team. Uh, that theme team. That, here we go, though. Old man Larry popping in with Norska here has full range of, of, of choices here. Like, he can absolutely stomp the shit out of the Terracost Sentinels. He just has to take, like, the counter pick. 
like terracotta sentinels only have 38 melee defense like these guys are not good in drawn out combat if you can keep them pinned and just bring something like any lodge bring taco back later well, yeah taco is free to rejoin like he can rejoin like it like in like i don't know two fights from now whatever i said before we've always got time for taco all right I'll, so i'm gonna read uh oh stinky grazers geysers geysers <laughs> geysers all right stinky geysers let's see if this grand cafe doomstack is gonna get taken down by old man larry what's he bring into the table okay can we get more tomb king doomstacks i don't know that's up to do you mean me like more tomb king doomstack videos i could oh, <laughs> oh my god it's the purple smirk spew spit doomstack <laughs> Oh my god. How do you counter that though? This is the problem. Th this is the thing. Now all the deuce eggs have to be super sweaty to get over that. The purple smirk spew spit deuce egg. Isn't he a legendary lord? Is he not? Is he a hero? I thought he was a lord. Is this a full lord doomsday? egg? <laughs> purple smirk spew spew spit. Spit bit. Alright. I'm losing the ability to talk. All right, let's see how this, how this goes. This was an interesting pick, though, because B Purple Smirk is not an anti-large general, but let's see how this goes. Adokoi, let the winner of this battle ch uh, winner change up this battle. Yeah, that's a good idea. Winner of this battle can change your Doomstack to whatever we want. This, this can happen every time somebody takes something that is just abhorrently sweaty. Even if, um... Even if, uh, G Giroi wins this, he can... He can change, uh... He can change his doomstack. Fuck it. Look at this boy right here. Causes terror, armor piercing, spellcaster. They're not that good in melee, but they all have arcane conduit. So, what does the winds of magic recharge look like for this guy? I wish I, I wish I could check. Can I check that? And Wolfric the Wanderer on a mammoth. I mean, I feel like. And without hesitation. I feel like Burple Smirk loses this, right? Shot. Like, this, I mean, causes terror. Pestilent Decay, that's. Oh, Pestilent Decay on every single one of them. I mean, that doesn't stack, surely. Dude, if Pestilent Decay stacks, this is going to be fucking stupid. But I don't think it does, right? I mean, it, technically it stacks, but it, only one use of it can be applied at once. He can heal way too much. That's true, that's true. He does have oh shit yeah regen that's huge that's huge fetid stench for the leadership but that's gonna be useless because they're all unbreakable cloud of flies and but a plus melee and nine melee defense wait plus nine oh for that yeah okay right fine fleshy abundance yeah this could i mean it doesn't stack yeah yeah, yeah. you know what does stack though that i was thinking of making a video on is how fucking op uh, that you can make Daniel with the combination of two very early game. If you combine, if you if you get Daniel right and you get the uh, the AOE damage tail and the AOE damage wings from the Nurgle tree, um, you can get fucking ridiculous. I I had uh, like two hundred thousand damage and one thousand three hundred kills in one of my fights. Like Daniel gets nuts if you get the, that combination. His damage over time is like eighty. It's insane. Adokai. Adokoi, hey man, so happy to see you stream. Never played any Warhammer game, but your commentary fucking rules. Hey, that's nice of you to say, man. Thank you. That's really nice. I'm always interested in that, like, like how people find my shit, you know? But, uh, that's nice to hear. Oh, hold the phone. <laughs> I love the animation where the end knocks on their ass. A second. Hold on, I'm gonna leave this on autopilot for a minute. Oh, dude, they're taking some hits here. The problem is they've only got 50 armor, which is not. All right, I gotta leave this going for one minute. I will be back in like, in like just two minutes. I gotta help Kuro with something.
God damn, that shit's loud. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I had to help Kuro lift um her new chair. Well. All right. Okay. Well, it looks like. Huh. Who's winning? Oh my god. Look at their big, fat, red, greasy bodies. I think that the spew spits are winning? What's the balance of power? 15 out of 20 for enemy troops. Yeah, um, the Terra Continentals are winning, I guess. <laughs> Although, this is a battle of attrition, because this is <coughs> Nurgle. This is a good old Nurgle miss. Oh, although... Oh shit, there goes Wolfric. I would definitely be healing Wolfric with your, um... With your spew, spew spit cast right now. I don't wanna... You know what, I'm, I, I know I'm supposed to remain partial as a, uh as a judge here, but I kind of, yeah. Dude, it's so one-sided here. I think the biggest kicker here is just the, um, the fact that these are demons, right? The fact that it's the same reason I'm not a huge fan of the vampire accounts so or the same rate, wait, wahog. <laughs> Newt with a $5 dono, thank you, my dude. <laughs> Fucking wahog. I'm not, there's not a green skin on screen, but I appreciate that, my dude. <laughs> Adokoi, have you noticed the wind? Um, oh shit, yeah, what? The fuck is that? Is that just like, is that just a, a thing on the map? What is that? Wait, hold on, what the fuck is this wind? Is this like... This is like the Earth desperately trying to weigh the blow away the stench of Nervo. I'd say that the thick boys have some green skin. You know what? You got me. You fucking got me. They are technically green skins. Hey, give you get get a cast on Wolfric, man. You need that leadership buff. Yeah, I feel like purple smirks are going down here. But on the plus side, Giroy is going to be given uh, the. I'm gonna say opportunity, but I mean the command that you change his fucking army. <laughs> Imagine the smell. Oh! <laughs> oh, the camera angle. Oh, the timing. Wait, 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 wait. Sniffers in chat. <laughs> Joined at a great time. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. No, the boys. The boys. No. Their many back rolls be taken down. Oh, oh, boom. And it looks like the Terracot Sentinels are going to pull it out. All right. And Cafe Carry It. Unsurprising, I will say. Give me a mo. So now, Giroy Habubski, old man Larry, well done, well interesting army. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to take him out, but I think uh, weirdly enough, it actually did worse than the uh, than the last army somehow. That was probably because of Taco, though. Let's be honest. Now, Giroy. You have the option of changing your army. Now, it is technically a suggestion, but I'm, 
I'm gonna need you to change that on me for me, buddy. I'm gonna need you. Okay, you gotta get out of here, old man Larry. My apologies, sir. You technically did lose, although I love your army composition. I'm, I'm gonna need you to change that doom stack out here, Giroy. <laughs> a must. I, I'm, I'm just gonna make a suggestion. Arakoi, what's your favorite green skin, Lord? Ooh. Skarsnik. Probably Skarsnik. You gotta love him. I love the fucking goblins, dude. Everybody loves the goblins or should. All right, let me get that. All right, tell you what, we'll switch up the the, uh, the little man on screen. Also, how about... Um... Uh... Fedora monkey. We'll go with the Festus monkey. Oh my god, that is just so off kilter. Why is it so fucking big? <laughs> Oh my god, even. How do I uh, reset? There we go. <laughs> it's so big. Little fascist monkey. Alright, there we go. Wow. 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 Oh my. You bitch. <laughs> We've already had that one. Wait. <laughs> Great. Giroy. We've already had that one. Giroy. Giroy. I, I, I kind of ruined it by seeing your army. We've, we've already had this army, so would you mind changing it to something else? Also, I've ruined it by giving away your army as well, so you gotta change. My bad, my bad, my mistake. Change it to whatever you want. I'm, I'm not gonna show it this time, but you gotta change it. It's, we've already had that army. Not that you're not allowed to retake armies, but I think that it's better if we just keep it changed. The sweatiest man. <laughs> that was the first army we had. Nothing will be sweatier than the, uh, than the Terracot Sentinel Doomstack. I'm, I mean... Adokoi, I am Larry. The reason is because my dumbass accidentally cast a spell with all of my units at once, and it took all of my magic and a single pass. <laughs> also, my magic was one per one second. God damn! If you have had any way to improve your, your, like, magic cap, then that would have been nuts. Flopper Gaming versus Giroy in the Ash Plains. Warriors of Cast versus uh, Grand Cathay again, but let's see what he takes. I'm just gonna say, Giroy, if you if we get back in and you have you taken the 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 Sentinel Doom stack again, <laughs> I'm going to ban you. <laughs> Imagine the balls this man would have to have to take the same <laughs> fucking army again. Adoko, gather all the sweat in a cup and slurp it down on stream. No balls, you won't. That is fucking gross. <laughs> by the way, by the way, our armies met. I had 68 magic. Adoko, that shit was fucking wild. You, you should. Okay, so I really need to do a, a siege doom stack next, and I was thinking 19 exalted lords of change or 19. Um, fuck, what are they called? Uh, exalted, uh, pink ones? Whatever the fuck? Pink, 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 uh, I'm drawing a blank here. The little pink, uh, gremlin, guys. Why am I- pink horrors, fuck! Exalted pink horrors. Of siege. Oh! <laughs> what? It's the fucking- okay, here we go. Oh my god, this army is so stupid. Uh, yeah, Exalted, uh, Exalted Pink Horrors of Siege. Exalted Pink Horrors of Siege. Um, because of the, the way that the Winds of Magic work, that with, with, um, Kairos would be fucking insane. I've done it, I actually built it, it was one of the first armies that I built, it's the only army that I ever built for, a uh, Siege to test out a Doomstack. Dude, if this guy dies, they lose. <laughs> are these Chaos Giants? Yeah, they are, of course. Floppa Gaming coming in with the Giant Doom Stack and the fucking Billious Thunder Goth for the farts and good old Festus Neckbeard. Nobody ever takes Festus. I feel like he's not a pick in multiplayer, which sucks because I love him. Nurgle wins when ammo runs out. Yeah, well, okay, here's the problem, though. Sky... Uh, oh, they, wait, these are lanterns! 
Yeah, you're right. It, <laughs> they're lanterns. They don't even have fucking. They don't even have. Uh, he didn't even take sky junks. Why would anybody take sky uh, lanterns over sky junks? That is an absurd decision to make. Although, don't underestimate sky lanterns for uh, for damage. I, I did something like this in, when I was doing Doomstack Versus with my patrons. And uh, I actually won doing this. I took one unit of, of Peasant Spearman and like 19 units of Sky Junks. And uh, we managed to win. What the fuck does die? No! 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 <laughs> okay, he's fine with it. Apparently he's happy. No! The little blue guy! No! <laughs> no! What's his name again? Why do they look so fucking happy about being dead? Adokoi slurping like it's ASMR. Adokoi, this dude thinks it's a a fifty thousand dollar tournament. <laughs> Part of the reason I, I don't like doing uh, tournaments or anything which offer a reward is because it gives people a reason to be sweaty. You know, it's it's the reason I didn't enjoy watching the um the uh, world tournament. You know, the one that uh, Anticity won. Uh, in the early stages and he, he got like a big old gaming PC for it with like a, a Warhammer 3 design on it like that that tournament was like the sweatiest business because it was just like nothing but super super sweaty armies it was just like it was nothing but slanesh cav spam and like and then and then ogre double iron blaster which I like pioneered I was I, w I was taking the the double gold chevron uh, Iron Blaster Doomstack really got nerfed to the point where Anticity used it in the tournament and actually won a couple of games. This sucks to watch ban the Sweat Lord. <laughs> this isn't that sweaty of an army. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everybody wants to shit. But, but like, imagine, just imagine if uh, Floppa Gaming had taken a ranged Doomstack. Dude, imagine. <laughs> and he, like, the Sky Lanterns would have got obliterated. Just obliterated. Ban him until he showers. <laughs> so he's not sweaty. Oh, da okay, the, the giants are gonna... There's no way. They've got reasonable leadership, but they've got... The Skylanders have enough ammo to just, like... Ape this dude. Okay, Jiroi... You're gonna have to charge one of these giants and just like chip away at it or something, man. Chat is so again. There's, there's only so much I can do, man. <laughs> what an absurd fight, though. I don't go. This man is too sweaty. Chat molding Lamau. <laughs> I mean, it's just okay. I think everybody's mad because um, Jiroi has taken, took the uh, you know the, the really really sweaty Doom stack for for like a bunch of games, but this is just like, this is just a bad matchup. Unfortunately, this is a bad matchup, and he technically wins. All right, but he has to keep this. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. He can't change. Jiroi has to keep this army now. <laughs> Somebody's gonna bring something in. <laughs> Somebody's gonna bring something real fun in. <laughs> well fought with the giant doomsday. That would have been fun to watch fight something uh, something slightly different. But uh, let's see what what he takes to fight the uh, <laughs> the balloon stack. It could be any, you could take a flying doomstack, a ranged doomstack, a flying ranged doomstack, just like an artillery doomstack. It does not matter. Like, there's no fucking universe in which uh, Juroi wins with this now. It's gonna get counterpicked so fucking hard. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the recompense that a lot of people are gonna be waiting for in chat. We'll see how this goes. You never know, I mean, he could technically win if he takes like the wrong build and the the, uh, the Skyland and snipe him out before they get to him. I, mean, I don't think it's going to be hard to come up with an army that can beat the balloon stack. I really don't. <laughs> oh no, Skaven. Adokoi, monkey.doomstack against it. 
I mean, I can think of a couple of builds that would absolutely rattle the bones of this Sky Lantern stick. Multiplayer is so fucking miserable. Multiplayer is not miserable. You can have fun with multiplayer. I know I'm, I'm not a very competitive person like my whole you know outlook on video games is just fun Like I don't give a fuck about winning or competitiveness or whatever. I, w I just want to have like a fair balanced game if I'm doing PvP or like stupid fun shit, you know what I mean? I just I just don't get the sweaty nature of it like I'm gonna take the sweatiest most like obnoxious shit because all that matters is winning like I hate that attitude dude oh my god I hate that attitude all right broke just go Bretonia flying cab dudes that go with whatever man like like <laughs> like fucking joy has to keep his army even if he like if he somehow sketches out a victory right now he still has to take the zombie so somebody's gonna beat him at Okoy, out of curiosity, how may one join this meme fest? Uh, check the description of the video. There is a password and a game lobby name in there. Just type in Okoy into the game, uh, into the like the lobbies in the multiplayer thing. A custom battle, no mods enabled, obviously. Um, and, <coughs> and then the password is Ogre lowercase. No caps, no spaces, nothing. Ready up, Okoy. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Wait, did he take rattling guns? No, he did not take rattling guns. That's not a good, that's not a good set for this because they don't have a lot of range. No, you fool. They only have fucking 145 range. He has the range that, he has, these things have almost double the range. They have 275. They're snipers. Look how far they can hit from. And they've, wait, they've got 38 speed to their 35. Dude, oh my God. He's going to be able to fucking kite. There's no fucking way. If he'd have taken sniper, if he'd have taken fucking Jaze wall block Jazales, this would have been over. Why didn't he take Jazales? No, he fumbled the bag. No fucking way. And there's water everywhere. It's a swamp. Oh, dude, I remember this. Wait, I remember this map, I think. Yeah, look, see, he's getting sniped on all the damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh fuck. Dude, okay, on paper, I would put my money on the rattling guns 100%, but I don't think this is gonna go how a lot of people thought it was. Oh fuck. He didn't take, dude, he fumbled the bag, he didn't take your sales. Oh man. Oh, buddy boy. Oh, my homie. My guy, my boy. Man. Oh, he just. What the fuck? Oh, unlimited power. Yeah, look, they're breaking already. It's not gonna take much. They just. They're never gonna close the gap. They're never gonna get in range. He would have to stop moving the Skylanders entirely. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Oh. Oh god, he forgot veterans. Veterans? Yeah, that's another thing. You can use regiments of renown units. And also remember to uh, put chevrons on your shit. Because that'll improve their leadership. It'll improve their uh, their reload time. Yeah, remember to put chevrons on your shit, guys. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't think... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. I mean, the only other option really would be to like beeline for this cab guy, but he could just run away the whole time. Fuck, man. You might as well fast forward, dude. Somebody else is gonna have to bring in an army to beat the Skylander uh, Doomsday. This is rough to watch, Lamau. Dude, if he'd have just gone Jazales, this would have been over. Because you could, like, single target these Skylanders and take them down in seconds. That would have been it. Like, Jazales have... I'm pretty sure they have more range than 275, too. They have, like... No, no, it is two, it's the same. It's, like, 275, right? They all have the same range. Oh, man. Oh, you could have also gotten the trees. You could have put your Rettling guns in the trees right here, and they would have been way harder to shoot. Luminox of high of ish. Luminox will be a good build, dude. Oh, my God. It can, no. It can fucking run, dude. <laughs> what? What? Yo, he fucking exploded. Holy shit. 
Did you see that shit? What? I didn't know he had like an imploding animation. What the fuck? Yo, he does that? I had no idea. I've never seen him explode like that. That is awesome. Dude, I seriously had, that's crazy. I have, I had no idea that was a thing. Well, at least I learned something from this. Damn, Jiroi on a fucking tear with these fights. Somebody's got to counterpick this man. Like, somebody take in a Skylit, something to beat Skylanders. Come on. Floppa Gaming is back in. Wait, did Floppa Gaming... Who, who did Floppa Gaming take? Floppa took the... Oh, you know what? I'm going to allow it. He took Giants. But uh, after this fight, Floppa, like, the next time you lose, you can't join for a little while. Because you, you were just in, like, two fights ago. I'll allow it, just based on the fact that it was a very one-sided fight. You take what- oh, Khan is an interesting tactic here. Demons of K- also interesting tactic, oh, okay. The run back. Khan, I- d dude, I don't know what you're- the only thing- yes, yeah, Skull Cannon is about the only thing I could imagine you taking here that would be even vaguely useful here. Oh shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the map too. Desert, not great for uh, for anybody fighting the Skylander Doom Stack, but we'll see. We'll see if this, if this is gonna be a takedown. Iconic song? Yeah, dude, this song fucking slaps. Fuck up the party before it even starts. Stack of Bloodthirsters? Bloodthirsters! Oh, that's a good point. It might be Bloodthirsters. I don't know, Bloodthirsters can fly, man. Yeah, I was thinking of ranged units. I'm gonna be honest. I forget that that Khan has things that aren't just like ground units that absolutely clap cheeks. I don't know, he's gonna smack so hard they fall out of the sky. <laughs> All right, let's see if he went with. Uh, he's got to be a skull cannon or a or a, a bloated a uh, Bloodthirster doom stack, right? Okay, but oh, but fuck, but that's so sweaty though. Cause like, who the fuck's gonna take an army? Okay. God fucking damn it. Ain't sweat doomsticks not allowed or is it allowed now? No, that's what I mean. If he'd have taken skull cannons, that would have been like not sweaty, but but like bloodthirsters are sweaty. Sweat for sweat. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Man, I thought he was gonna go skull cannons. That's why I was like, I wasn't thinking in terms of like, you know, sweaty doomsticks. Why would you take Scarbrand? <laughs> oh, Foot Lord, right, you need a Foot... No, but these are flying units, they can land. Adokoi, I take the Bloodthirsters just to be this guy. Uh, then ask to switch. I love your vibes, Adokoi. Hey, thank you, my dude. Adokoi, this is a revenge match. Shut down the Bloodthirsters after this one. <laughs> this is like, just a slaughter, though. Uh, okay, I like having fun, but don't like overly OP stacks. Immediately plays 19 Bloodthirsters. <laughs> That's true. I was literally talking about how I hate sweaty stacks. This falls into too sweaty category. No, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... I'll, I mean, Flopper can pick whatever he wants. After this fight, like, I want to get back to non-sweaty Doom stacks. This kind of goes against the, the spirit of the, uh, of this. We'll just see how this goes. I mean, you never know, like fucking... The Skylanders could pull out an upset for all we know. <laughs> Unlikely. Unlikely, though. I feel like Skylanders should have suppression, so that when they're getting chased down by flying units, they have a little bit of, like, pushback. Yeah, we'll swap out the Bloodthirsters after this. That's only fair. Hint skins again. Stylatons are still gonna win. I don't think that's true, dude. Bloodthirsters are, have 95 speed and they have no melee stats. And they're always flying. I don't I don't see it. I feel like Oh shit, yeah, they have 100 percent forest spotting. Dude. The idea of Skylanders are actually pretty fucking cool. There's no fucking way. They just don't do even vaguely enough damage. The Bloodthirsters are gonna demolish these guys. Who's gonna win? Glorified Lanterns or 19 Molding Demons of Blood? Definitely the, the demons. Definitely the demons. Yeah, like, he's just, he's individually- <laughs> He's just like- <laughs> Oh god! Imagine the perspective of being in these balloons. You just see this like- 
flying blood demolition crew coming your way. <laughs> oh, Jesus, these poor women. We're just watching women in baskets getting slaughtered right now. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll be surprised if they even take down one of these demons. Hey, look at this shit. <laughs> Up on the mountain. Okay, 100% this lantern drops flat through the mountain. 100%. There's no Wait, how does this... Yeah, because this is like rocks. 100% this is going to like clip through the, the floor. Unless it, he just like concedes. Look at him slowly just drifting away. Yeah. Pretty obvious. Scott Brown's gonna absolutely F this dude up. <laughs> pick, pick your punching bag. Yeah. Hey, yo. I mean, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen the, uh, the Sky Lantern destruction animation. The AI recruits these things so rarely, you just never see them. Float away at a moderate pace. <laughs> All right. It's like that. Uh, I feel like there's something like that where they're like, "Fuck it." Some Disney movie or some shit where they like run, but they're snails. Like the same vibes. Damn. Yeah, that was one-sided. Giroi taken down. A good series of battles. I feel like people <laughs> were definitely set against you after the initial uh, decision to take a terracotta sentinel doom stack, my guy. But there you go. Thank you for playing. Thank you for joining. Uh, Floppa, you have the permission to change to whatever the fuck. Ooh, dude, more- Oh, God, more of this. Please, more of this. CA, please, if any of you are listening, which you're not, more maps like this. I want, like, a, this map's so cool. I remember this from Warhammer 2. Adokoi, do some tier 1 and tier 2 only matchups. Um, we could, we could do that, maybe. Oh, fuck, shit, I'm- God damn it. High Elves versus Dark Elves, the eternal struggle. Esser2782, nice. Versus Floppa Gaming. Slanesh versus the High Elves, also very appropriate historically. Especially if you, oh, oh my God, this man can't make a decision. <laughs> Monsters University, I caught you live, hell yeah. Well, I mean, I always stream at the same time, but I feel like every time I stream, I get so many like messages and comments and shit just saying like, fuck, I missed it again. So a dragon new stack. The Bloodthirster stack was more cringe than the Lantern one by a mile. I thought he was going to take a Skull Cannon Doom stack. That's why I was like, yeah, chill, cool, corn, right, awesome. Thoughts on penis and Okoi. No, I don't really have any thoughts. Mind empty, only dicks. All right, here we go. Kislev versus the High Elves. Interesting, interesting. Now I can think of a, a, a lot of really powerful um, doom stacks for Kislev that are not sweaty. Oh my God, guys, how is nobody getting the sweaty doom stack angle? Fuck. These are so sweaty, guys. Please, please, we just dug ourselves out of the sweaty pit. Okay, this is marginally less sweaty than the last time. The whole point is to take fun, stupid doomstack. This has to be intentional. I mean, maybe these two deserve each other. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, here's the thing though, here's the thing. They're balanced. These two armies are balanced, right? Potentially, like this is this could go either way because bears have anti-large, they're extremely strong, but so are, are hippogriffs, right? Man, I never played Bretonia. Oh, these are Knights of Togaval. You fucking sweat lord. <laughs> Wait, oh, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't a doom stack. Hey, what the fuck? What? Uh, you can't take a life mage and no, 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 sir. That is not hold the fucking phone Unacceptable Unacceptable. No, sir 
That is not a Doom set. You cannot take Acer. Unbelievable. That is illegal. Banned. Get oh fuck. Okay, well the lobby's gone. Unacceptable, guys. What do you mean? That's not a Doom sack. Lamau, he tried. He tried to sneak that shit past me, son. Absolutely not. There, there's the lobby name, by the way. Hold on. Okoy Doomstack 1v1. Slap a capital O in there. Fuck it. Electric chair. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. Default funds. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, sort of Tog of Old. Quest battle. And oh, fuck. Wait. Why did I? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It didn't host as a spectator. I'm sorry. My bad. Fuck. I fumbled the bag, boys. Whoever joined there is going to be so pissed. <laughs> Tier 1 and 2 fixes things. I have no problem with taking reasonably strong armies. Just don't... Like, if you... Like, okay. The, the best way to think about it is... Is this army super, super, fucking, super, duper strong? Yes? Is, is it super... Then it's fucking sweaty! Like... Okay, I maybe I need to set rules for this. I don't think tier one and tier two is a good is like okay because technically like I don't know what are they called um there's a lot of tier three units which suck dick they're not strong like it doesn't matter oh ogre kingdoms oh <laughs> no, I just turned into a Japanese TV presenter okay it was the cheater who joined so no harm done they're not the cheater. Oh, yeah, 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 right. The guy who took a fucking hero. I don't believe. I changed funds. Oh, yeah, my bad. There you go. Sorry. Have at it, boys. Funds unlimited. Lord, I thought, God, of course, panties wet. Oh, wait, he did... Lord othog has been in this before, right? Man, you kicked me when I got a chance to connect, lol. I'm sorry, Russian... Adokoi, it's gonna be 20 stone horns. Don't, don't fucking, dude, shut up. It, 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 they're not, okay, they're not gonna take sweaty units. I'm, I'm judgment call, these are good boys. They're not taking sweaty units, I guarantee. They're taking fun, stupid armies of different fun things. I, they're not gonna fumble the bag. These are good boys. I, I have faith in these boys. This guy took Ogre Kingdoms. He's based. There's no way. This man is far too based. 20 stone horns versus 20 necrofex. <laughs> oh, fuck. A fucking up crushers do thing? Are you fucking me? Oh my god. <laughs> you ow, oh, fuck you. Oh, man. Okay, it's counterable, though. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 though. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, the, the, the Vampire Counts guy, the Vampire Coast guy is based as a motherfucker. Fucking... <laughs> he takes 19 bloated cops through tonight. What a chad. But there's literally impossible for him to win this. It's just... It's not gonna happen now. You were the chosen one. The, how did the Ogre Kingdoms guy fumble the bag and take an OP fucking Crusher Doomsday? How did that happen? Duh. Right? Oh my god. Well, this is gonna look cool if nothing else. I do love crushers. No, I don't. I love iron guts. And these are just iron guts on, like, crushed on fucking Rhinox. Dude, he even took the fucking Sky Strider variant. Look at. Oh. He even took the Sky Strider variant. Look at those yellow tits. Man. I mean, he has to keep this, though, bear in mind. So, they'll, he's going to get counterpicked. Second match here. Second game here. After, um... After Metal Gear Chris here, this absolute Chad. I want some W's in chat for Chris. <laughs> I want some W's in chat for my boy Metal Gear Chris here. This I, Even just for a spectacle. Actually, I want to see how much damage they do. Oh! oh! <laughs> Oh my god, my FPS, my poor FPS. <laughs> the fucking loss immediately. <laughs> oh man, the whole army's gone. That was my experience with it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if anybody can counter the, uh, 
the ogre kingdom's doomsday let's randomize that map the void of fell hen hellfin <laughs> fell hens <laughs> uh chris a champion in her hearts all right lord uh, and thug you gotta keep that army bud you you've made your bed now you gotta shit in it all right like you gotta sit in your diary a little pants right now and, and just keep this fumbled bag with your crusher army we're gonna see if anybody can uh, summon up anything to beat this army the real problem here is that it is so difficult to come up with a, an army that isn't sweaty to beat a sw an already sweaty army so we're just stuck in like this endless cycle i'm not saying like it has to be like you have to take peasant doomsack or you're fucking cringe like it could be a strong army you know what i mean like like trollhammer torpedoes versus uh like the nekahara snake cav like it, it can be like they can be strong just don't just don't go fucking sweaty you you should know what sweaty is i don't go do you like tea i do not i don't i don't drink any tea kuro my channel manager girlfriend i make her tea all the time i know how to make tea she loves that shit she's like a real british person i am a fake british person i drink now I drink fruit juice. I oh yeah, revelation. Because I've gone on more of a health kick, I've dropped like thirty-five pounds in a couple of months. I'm down from like two. I'm, I think I'm down from like one ninety-five to like one seventy. I, I forget how much, but it's because I stopped drinking soda. I stopped eating like like totally like shit. So I'm like less ogery, but I I'm like I dropped a bunch of weight. I feel way better now. Oh, I'm fumbling. Sorry, let me stop the game. My bad. That being said, I still drink soda now, like a little bit. I'm dabble I'm dipping my foot back in the water, but I don't drink seven cans of Dr. Pepper a day anymore, so. Oh my god! Okay. The cycle never ends. It's gonna be it's the same shit, man. I mean, this is gonna be fucking interesting to see who wins this. Because this is big anti-large monstrous infantry versus big anti-large monstrous cav. Adokoi, thoughts on diet soda? Uh, it's okay. I actually don't mind it as much anymore. Diet soda used to be complete dog shit and zero versions of sugar. Like, you know what, like when they first started releasing sugar with no soda, uh, uh, soda, <laughs> oh my god, soda with no sugar in it? But it had like super, super strong sweeteners. Like, I can't drink Pepsi Max because that shit tastes like the devil's asshole to me. Also, I tried um this like Dr. Pe like Diet Dr. Pepper or Dr. Pepper Zero or some shit. And it's in like a white can. And I swear to fuck, it tasted like it tasted like I took a swig of Dr. Pepper, spat it into a guy's asshole, and he shit it back into my mouth. Like it tasted it was horrible. Like I threw it's the only time I've ever like literally cracked cans and poured it out into the sink. Like that shit tasted nasty. But now, I tasted zero sugar Dr. Pepper recently, and it just tastes like sweeter Dr. Pepper that that isn't, like, like almost as good. Like, it's it like it's it's good now. Like, they're, they're actually good now. Adokoi, you need to start kicking these guys if they ignore the rules. It's not a rule. It's just, a, it's just like a suggestion. It's like it's going against the spirit of the game if you take sweaty armies, but it's technically not against the rules. You know what? No, it's I'm going to add it to the rules. Hold on. I'm adding it to the rules. Only rule. No. Wait. Oh my god. Hold on. No sweaty doomsticks. Alright, now it's now a rule. It's now an enforceable rule. No sweaty doomsticks. None at all. I don't know. You've never had keto soda? Purple Flurp is nasty. I don't quite stop disappointing the mall and gorge on food. <laughs> I'm actually curious to see who's. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, the Minotaurs are getting absolutely borked. Crushers are just too good. Although, uh, th dude, this is actually. I'm pretty sure the Crushers are gonna win, but this is closer than I thought it would be. My money would have been on Crushers here because I'm an Ogre boy, I'm an Ogreman at heart. I'm in an ogre main. Okay, I guess you gotta check the armies before the fights then. Uh, yeah, maybe. I tell you what, I'll get up a screen blocker. 
And then I'll check it so it's so it's not ruining the suspense. We'll use the monkey as a screen blocker. Hold on. That's what I was doing for my my tournament thing. So we'll, we'll just have this big monkey screen blocker. You can just look at his monkey tits. That'll be the screen blocker. But we're not going to be able to have a monkey on screen. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. The monitors are pulling ahead. Yo, this is close. No, it's not. Holy shit. There's like a, a whole ass sect of crushers over here. This is... Man, crushers on the... Oh, get laid out. Man, Crusher is making these Minotaurs look small. Real small. Oh, this Crusher is about to get beefed. Oh! Whoa! He walked it. Okay. I thought he fucking walked into the Shadow Realm. Dude, what? This is close. This is 50 50. Like, this is full on 50 50. Look, you got like Chaos Spawn. Oh, those are Chaos Spawn, right? Minotaurs are great weapons. Morgar's still alive. The cr this uh, Tyrant's getting fucked up. But look at all these Crushers. This is close, man. I think the Minotaurs might pull this out, though. Okay, so it's basically make a stack that counters the current one, not one that will counter all others. Yes! Exactly that. You need to build something to beat that immediate army. It's like tough trumps. You, you just you build something to beat the army that you know is going to be there, but try and do it in a fun way. Just don't be a sweaty piece of shit. Like, j just don't make an army that's 19... Of, of like something you know is like a beat all you know what I mean like a giant for example giant unbreakable stone man with twin blades from China you know just try and make something try and make something fun well, okay the terrorist dead where is he at <laughs> he's just laying face down like Peter Griffin Dude, I'm actually so curious to see how this is gonna go. Look at the balance of power. It's like slightly in the Beastman's favor right now. Basically make mid-tier doom stack. If you want, mid-tier, it could be end tier. You can make an entire skull cannon doom stack. That's a tier three unit. You can make an entire doom stack of uh fucking uh Storm Vermin. I don't give a fuck. Storm Vermin can be countered easily. Storm Vermin can get absolutely shafted. Can you please tell me if Chaos Spawn are good or bad? I can't make up my mind. Chaos Spawn are solid. If you're, if you're uh, one of the strongest armies, or like a decently strong army, is a Maugre full, um, is a Doom stack of uh, Chaos Spawn with Maugre the Shadow Gave. The benefits, that, the, the bonuses that he can give them, he gives them horrible regeneration. Like, it, it's actually really strong. Oof. Oh. Okay, I, this is so close, dude. This is actually so close. I think the crushers are gonna pull it away. Pull it away. <laughs> what happened to this guy? <laughs> I love how Minotaurs still have like no mass. They have 1600 mass compared to crushers. Uh. 3700 hey oh dude this is so close holy shit no i think the uh the crushers are losing crushers are losing yeah uh, damn dude pyrrhic victory though that was actually solidly close damn the crushers doomstack trumped by the minotaurs with great weapons but look how fucked up they got good fight actually a good fight like genuinely that didn't feel sweaty at all but uh particularly strong picks i will say Pretty good round, right? Like, it is, it's not... That wasn't that sweaty. It just... It's like... It kind of is. It's sweaty in, in the regard that, like... If you... Like, 19... Like, 20 units of crush... 19 units of crushers. Crusher Doomstag will absolutely destroy a bloated corpse Doomstag. But... If that guy took that bloated corpse Doomstag against, like, I don't know, a Clan Red Doomstag or some shit... I don't know why anybody would do that. I'll check the armies, though, before, before, we, uh, before we get going. I don't know if there's more rules from, and shit for me to do. Let me play. I have no control. Wait. Oh, it's it's never the end. Dwarves versus Beastmen. Multidimensional Fox. You're going to have to keep that um that Minotonium stack, I guess. Oh, let me check, actually. Did he keep it? Yeah, he calls he kept it. What's your, what's your thought process? Interesting, interesting. 
Okay, this is gonna get us back on track. I'm pretty confident. This is good. You guys will see what I mean in a second. But this is gonna be this is this might get us back on track. Like wait until you see. I like the direction that this is going in. God damn it. You have to click really fucking stop fuck. Money on slayers. I gotta take a shower to get all the sweat off. <laughs> oh no, giant slayers incoming. Dwarves, huh? I mean, if you're going dwarves against a full army of beasts, man, it's got to be one thing. But if he goes with a Slayer Doom stack, that's counterable. And also, I really want to see that fight. Because that would be a lot of fun to watch. Just a bunch of... Just a bunch of gingers fighting a bunch of cows. How do we participate in the tournament? This isn't a tournament. This is just a, like, a free-to-join. Whoever wants in, just jump in. But check the description. The, uh... The lobby name and password are in the description. Dwarves. Huh? 2v2 sounds fun. Yeah, some 2v2s would be a lot of fun, actually. I'll tell you what. Should we do that this stream or we do that in another stream? What do you guys think? Should we just do some 2v2s to round out the stream after we do a couple more? Do a couple more 1v1s. If it's if it gets... The, the next time somebody, like... Gets effed in the A, sweats it up. Ready up. I did. Dude, I really wish it would fucking automatically reach. I'll just wait. I'll just ready up ahead of time. D yeah, Slayer Doom that with Ungrim thematic. Let's go. A few more than two v twos. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We'll round out the stream with some two v twos. Another stream. This is working the kinks out. Eh, also, not a bad idea. A full stream dedicated to two v twos might be nice. I could also just do a two v two uh, version of this. Like, this is pretty fun. I'd love to do 2v2s and then even some 3v3s if people's shit can handle it. This will be so hard to beat, though. Surprised it's not Giant Slayers? Yeah, Giant Slayers would have been a better bet because Manitos actually have a reasonable amount of armor, I think. Adokoi, where the music from? This is uh, Link Miss Me With That Nonsense, a, N a Nazan remix. So N-A-Z-3-N-T. And then Link Miss Me With That Nonsense is the uh, remix. I don't know. He, he calls them all meme shit like this. All right. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, no, no. Never mind. Minotaurs only have 35 armor. I'm thinking of the Minotaur. Uh, I'm thinking of Gorbals. Gorbals have a hell of, hell of armor, like 120. Wait, what? <laughs> Did he forget to move his shit? Look at these gingers. <laughs> I forgot about the funny pants. Are those the Dragonback Slayers in there? Yeah, they are. Yeah, Dragonback Slayers. Wait, I don't remember the Dragonback Slayers being this drippy. Oh. Hey, let's go. The Ginger Swarm commences. An army of Weasleys? <laughs> Twin axes. Uh, <laughs> I had me down, Mohawk. Must be a Weasley. <laughs> <laughs> Hand me down axes. Drip back slayers. I love the Slayer Doom Sack. Super silly. I mean, I did a Slayer Hero Doom Sack. That was a lot of fun. I never did a Slayer Doom Sack, though. After I did the Doom Sack, I just never bothered uh, with the infantry variant. But this is just like a classic. Like, this this is a functional, a fully functional and usable army when you're playing as Ungrim. Th th that thing that he gives them where they they uh, they don't take any, they don't lose any models until they get below 80% HP makes them so good. What mod is Slayer Heroes? I don't know, it was something years ago for Warhammer 2. Uh, Mixu's, uh, Mixu's Tabletop Heroes or something like that? Oh shit! Oh shit, he's trapping him in the fucking... Dude, this is gonna be so cinematic. The Minotaurs surrounded the Slayers in the... In the this... Oh, this is actually a cool-ass map. This is the uh, Warpstone, like... Uh, Warpstone Desert, like, chasm in the middle of Cathay. This is gonna look... Dude, this is cool as fuck. Look at this shit. The Slayer Tide. Surrounded on all sides by the Minotaurs. Get in there, boys. 
Isn't the effect bugged? Uh, I think it's bugged for some stuff. All right, let's see how long these fucking chaos spawn are gonna last. I mean, if <laughs> they all turn in unison, what their health is just gonna disappear. Oh my god, yo, Mulgar might be the move here. Mulgar is gonna be. I I'm pretty sure Mulgar could solo this like entire fucking army here. He's just gonna have to commit. He's gotta use that charge bonus. He's gonna have to just charge them on all sides. Dude, control A, right click on the Slayers. Get the fuck in there with these cows. I don't remember the, the Weasleys doing this in the books. <laughs> Dude, this is the, <laughs> the Weasley clan. This is an offshoot. This is like a, this is one of the unreleased Harry Potter books. JK Rowling really went off the rails after he tried, she did the whole non-politically correct thing. Hey, yo, they're taking some damage, though. The thing is, here's the thing. Slayers are completely unbreakable. So these these bulls are going to have to kill every single one of these little ginger men. Hey, yo, look at this shit. Look at these little men getting knocked around. Wow, this is cinematic. Damn. How they doing? They're losing a lot of health. Like the Minotaurs might may inch this out. Like uh, seriously, they they might win. Like Minotaur stats are not to be underestimated. This this is actually going to be extremely close. This is essentially Minotaur. Uh, this is Minotaur power versus. Slayer survivability, considering they're unbreakable, you know, and they're also triple gold chevron in uh for both. So they're really gonna get yeah, 48 melee attack, 41 melee defense. And using that charge bonus, that's what that's what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> holy shit. This is a pretty worthy death, though. I would be, I'd be pretty ecstatic if I was a slayer in this circumstance. You can't ask for much of a much more of a better turnout than this. Putting them in a blob might have not been the best idea. I mean, it enhances their survivability over a long period of time. I think that the uh, the minosaurs are just going to get chewed out, though. Like slayers have just got too much anti-lodge. With their anti-lodge, they're rocking. Basically, like, what, 60, like 70 something uh, uh, weapon strength, and then like fucking over 60 melee attack. Where's Morgar at? Where is Morgar? Hold on. Wait, did Morgar die and I just didn't realize? What? Where'd he go? This is coming down to the wire though. It actually tell it's it, it says here that the um, the monitors are winning. <laughs> this is a close fight. This is really gonna come down to the wire. Like remember these uh, these little ginger guys are unbreakable. They're never gonna run. They will die before they leave. Hit him in the ass. Hit him in the ass. Get him. Get him down. Oh, in the ass! Let's get really down at dwarf level to really enjoy this. That's the fight going. Yeah, dude, I, I think the dwarves are gonna clutch this. It says that they're not winning, but they're definitely winning. Look, like four in this unit, 50 in this unit, four, three. Like, if this was any other unit type, these guys would have routed like 10 centuries ago. Okay, don't they also have death blow? Yeah, exactly. As they die, they're gonna be doing even more damage. But the Minosaurs do keep coming back, because they're strong. Oh, but fucking Ungrim, dude. Uh, apparently Morgur died, but Ungrim is still going, and there's no way they're gonna kill Ungrim. The Dwarves have this in the bag. I completely forgot about Ungrim. 
Ungram solos? Yeah, 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 I just realized Ungram has this. This isn't even close. Ungram doesn't give a fuck. Dude, we gotta watch Ungram just, just like, beat, chop some beef. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, one per swing. Yeah, Ungram has this 100%. Uh, that being said, almost all the Slayers are dead. Ungram's gonna solo this, but almost all of the Slayers are dead. Although, Ungram could get chipped down. He's not a total god. He just needs to focus on that chipping away. This is so close, dude. This is... Oh, wait. Wait, no. No, no, no. But he's unbreakable. It's unbreakable. So it doesn't matter about his casualties. So surely he's going to win. <laughs> I love the roll animations. Oh, no. He is just a little dwarf, though. He's just going to get staggered over and over again. Oh, he's ta they're taking some big chunks out of him. I don't even think he's going to be able to hit because he's just going to keep getting staggered. And he can only kill like, what, one at a time, maybe two? I think the uh, Monitors might actually ch uh, clutch this. Please, Ungroom. <laughs> he's making cheesesteaks out here. Dude, look how big his fucking Mohawk is. Now, look, see, he can barely even get a hit off before he gets staggered. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. This is like mass route versus... They're just gonna do too much damage. Yeah, dude, look at his health. 550 and counting. There's no way. There's no way. The Ungrim's taken down. The Minibus has been underestimated again. Oh, and he's down. And they take it. A Pyrrhic victory, a good fight, a close fight. I really thought that the Slayers would clutch that, but they just didn't have the killing power. I, you know what? I bet if they he'd taken the um, Giant Slayers, he would have won. If he'd have taken the Giant Slayers and not the, uh, the other variant, he probably would have won that. Great effort, though. Good fight. 07 for Ungrim. That's true. F's in chat for the Ungi. Alright. Oh, it's all Dwight is back. Can it's all Dwight summon a stack strong enough to take down the minibus? But also something that isn't sweaty. Or not that sweaty. I would have thought that that's like one of the best armies you could have taken to, to take down the minibus. Like, what can you even bring to take down an entire army of Minotaurs that isn't super sweaty? Bro, I can't join. Yeah, it's 1v1. It's just like a chance thing. He's already fought lame. Yeah, that's... Mm, that's a good point, actually. You know? Because we're kind of like stopping a lot of people from joining. Uh, how many fights has Dwight done? Did he just do the one and then get knocked out? Can you add spectator slots? No, that's way more people to wait to load. <laughs> that's... No. In the Grimdark of Okoi 1v1, there's only sweat. Reels like it. Start 2v2s. Uh, yeah, go on. I'll tell you what, that's a good idea. I wanted to see somebody beat this army, but I'll tell you what, yeah, we'll slap in another. We'll do some 2v2s. Fuck it. It's, it's been two and a half hours. It's time for some 2v2s. Oh, it, oh no, it's Kiroi again. An FTP camp feat. Wait, isn't FTP the fucking clan? Hold the phone. Ain't FTP at the, like the top of um the fucking like, isn't house plant an FTP? Am I thinking of the wrong people? Who am I thinking of? Maybe HTP ain't that. Maybe that that ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. No. No, he's back. Nah, Gregor. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't want to ban him. That's so mean. I can put him up to a vote, maybe? And then at least it's, it's democratic and I can act like I didn't make the decision. <laughs> can Giroy stay? 
How about this? How about this? I'll put it up to a vote, but like, bear in mind, just keep this in mind. If we, if he can stay, if he takes something non-sweaty, if he takes something non-sweaty, why can't he stay? <laughs> Immediately, oh my god. If he, you guys don't know, he could take something not sweaty. He's not like a sweaty player. He's not like super sweaty player. He's like, just, he took an army that was sweaty once. I don't know, I think if he brings sweaty, don't let him in. How about I check his army? How about we check his army right before we start? And if it's sweaty, then I kick him. Deal? Deal? When everybody's ready up, I'll check his army. If it's sweaty, then we kick him. I don't quite let him stay if he does a streak in Doomstack. Fuck you! <laughs> no! Deal. Yes? All right, good, good, good. I'm just gonna end the poll. Damn, that was close though. It's a democracy out here. Jiroi, it's in your hands. If you take something too sweaty, it's gonna be a, uh, let him do a troll doom stack. Hey, it's, it's in his hands, man. Chad will decide if the sweatiness is too much and he gets the, the boot. Let's see how this goes. 1% on the vote, lol. <laughs> just sta just stacks a Sora Spearman. I mean, that actually wouldn't be bad. All right, here we go. Okay, that's not sweaty. That's a, there's a, that's tier two infantry. That's not sweaty. I'll allow it, I'll allow it. All right, our first 2v2 Doomstack. All right, listen, I'm curious how this is gonna go, man. He had so many games though. Yeah, he's probably, I mean, if his faction loses. Oh shit, oh right. He kept the fucking Minotaur stack. <laughs> Look at this. Dude, that's actually fucking, wait, 27 for Greenskins? Wait, the Greenskins don't have a lot of single entities. Is this just gonna be a sweaty army? I should have checked the armies before I started, fuck. Triad's Doom stack is based. Triad's Doom stack is super based. I'll look at the armies, man. You know what? If our if our trust has been betrayed, then they're getting the fucking boot. Let's see what the uh let's see the picks. No, how could you greenskins? So we've got Minotaurs with great weapons and blood letters of corn versus <laughs> Yes! Let's go! Oh my god, it's the base boys versus the fucking- okay. <laughs> this is already a foregone conclusion, but that is base as fuck. Hell yeah. Bruh. Awesome. Stock. Anti. Unfortunately, the Minotaurs are in the mix. This could have been fucking base. This could have been such a good fight. Let's see how this goes though, I'm super curious. Wait, I'm, I'm, they're fucking cheating. I'm gonna look at the ground. And close my map. Wait, how do I disable my map? Fuck. I can't disable it? What if I move it really fast? They won't be able to see. Guys, quick! Quick! Or they're gonna cheat! Somebody's gonna cheat! <laughs> ah. No, we'll leave it. Fuck it. Oh, it started. Here we go. Green skin. Goblin Great Shaman on it. Oh my god! Eshin triads need a, need a buff. 100% need a buff. Okay, put monkey on map. Oh, he, uh, it's too late now. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck. You got this, Eshin triads. You got this, I believe in you. You're triple gold tier. You have the anti large capacity. How are the bombs doing? Oh, bombs have gone. Oh, no! Wait, are they dead already? They're all dead. No, they wasted all the bombs on the fucking Minotaurs. No. One, two, three. Yeah, they're all dead. Fuck. Oh, no. Well, there's no way the Ashen Triads are going to chew through the blood letters. Oh, no, he's still gone. No, he still has them. Okay, a little bit of tactical gameplay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, bombs coming in. Bombs deployed on the 
Oh, oh my, wait, all of those blood letters just got taken out. Oh, the chase, uh, Isha Triads are pulling back. This is somewhat competitive. I, I feel like the Minotaurs are just gonna clean a house here. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. An uphill struggle to be sure. Greensons are coming in with some casts though. Some Gork will fix it. To help out the Eshin Triads. Triads coming in. Oh, oh! Yes! Yes! Look at him run! <laughs> no! What even blew that up? Oh, maybe it was... No, Snickers on the same side. As the Super Squigs. Man. No Minotaurs after this. I'm counting that as enough wins to change. Ooh! Deathmaster Sigil and Morgur. That could be good. Deathmaster will absolutely tear Mor Morgur's nuts off. There's a couple of Super Squigs left. Ooh! Big explosion over here. He needs to be careful of damaging the Ash and try it. Another one over here. Oh! Oh! Hey! I mean, if nothing else, it looks cool. Yeah, the, mi the, the Minotaurs are unfortunately closing in. Unfortunately, it's over, Valkyrie's suicide of the Super Squigs. Yeah. World of Weeping Blades. Okay, they're in, and it's gone. Damn! Damn, son. All right, no more Minotaurs. Minotaurs are too much of a fucking sweaty spanner in the mix. You absolutely have to change this now. 1000% you are swapping this out. Alright, Campy. Wait, Campy took a base on me. I feel like I don't want to kick him. Also, Giroi had a. You know what? I'm making a judgment call. Giroi has to get out. He's had too many games. Multidimensional Fox. Meganon can stay. And we'll get some new fr we'll get some fresh blood in. We've had a lot of people have had some games. Let's get some fresh blood in with some fresh picks. Some let some non-sweaty armies. We'll put on a map setup. Let's randomize this bitch. We'll get some new shit in. Losers stay. Alright, we got some fresh. This is almost everybody new except Mega Knight, actually as well. Mega Knight, you've already you've you've done a, quite a few games now. Let's get I want four new people. I'm making a judgment call. We're getting four new people in here. Remember, guys. No sweaty armies. All right, fine tax, Stone Vermin against Ivan the Ma wait Ivan the Man. I think is also been in here before, but I think he's only done the one. Okay, what about doing tier one unit Doom stacks first tier one, then tier two? I'm not gonna make people choose based on tiers. We'll see how this goes. If it's stay, if we're getting running into con uh, consistent issues, if I do another one of these, we can start implementing like more rules later down the line. But for this. Quest battle, 2v2, pick whatever faction we get. Fuck! God damn it, I didn't mean to check that. Guys, nothing sweaty though, okay? Please nothing sweaty. And by sweaty, I mean something which constitutes an extremely powerful army. You know what I mean? Try, uh, err, like, think about it. Err on the side of goof here. Oh, that's super sweaty, yeah. <laughs> I'll check before we stop though, don't worry. If anybody has anything abhorrently sweaty that's obvious, then there you go. Adokoi, I might not have won any games, but I think I have the moral victory with my bombardiers and triads. Agreed. Adokoi, our soul guy and just sweaty. Fucking what do you think? They're a tier five unit. Single entity. Yes, they're sweaty. Think about it, like tier three units like like fucking storm vermin, skull cannons. Uh, uh, fuck, wait, what are they called? What, uh, the gunner axe guys for kiss Streltsy. Streltsy are, are totally cool. They're not fucking OP. I don't care. A Hulk Rider sweaty. No, because they fucking suck. The only thing that they're good, they're actually good with is when they have, um, plus also if your lord dies. Okay, here's the, here's the thing. That is sweaty. 
if you take Orion or like a, a ranged guy on a horse and you have him run away the whole time, then it's sweaty. But if you take Hawk Riders and you have them charge into melee combat and flank and, and shoot stuff and like have your Lord get in there and actually do melee. So if they manage to kill your Lord, your whole army routes, that's not sweaty. You know what I mean? You got to balance that shit out. If you're using sweaty cheese tactics in order to just like cheese out a victory, then that's sweaty. It's pretty obvious, right? I mean, it's not just me. And okay, would Sepulchral Stalkers be considered sweaty? Uh, nah, they're just man they're monstrous infantry. I don't know, maybe. They're pretty fucking good, but that's the thing. If the enemy takes something that counters anti-lodge, like a shit ton of anti-lodge, like slayers or whatever, then you're fucked because you're just going to get axed through like nothing all right is everybody ready all right i'm just gonna you know, i'm gonna start checking people's shit <laughs> feral bears let's go that's they're reasonably strong but they're not op and a fucking war wall lines of trace okay awesome <laughs> against night goblin fanatics with spinning loons and an orchid gun doom stack let's go okay yes this is what I'm talking about. Nothing is OP here. I'm pretty sure they've got the edge on team two, but with the, with the mobility that they have here, but if the organ guns can do enough damage and the green skins can keep them back with their with their goblins, this could actually be pretty like reasonable. This is like cats and bears versus organ guns <laughs> versus powerful ranged and uh, and a shit ton of goblins. They showered at Okoy. They did indeed. I'm actually, dude, this, <laughs> this is such a good matchup. I'm, man, I'm ecstatic. This is actually going to be great. At Okoy, do you have a playlist for the music you're listening to? I do not have a playlist for this, but I will show it here. Just one for like a second. I don't know. Screenshot this or like fucking. It won't show you the names of some of these, but like the, uh, the song titles are here, which is all you really need to know. There you go. For anybody that needs to know, I do. I have made a, a Spotify playlist, but there's not a lot of. OK, my problem is I have a Spotify playlist, right? It has a bunch of songs that I put on there that I just, you know, like and whatever but it's not a lot of the songs that i use in videos because not a lot of the songs that i use in videos are actually on spotify they're on like soundcloud and youtube and they're could they're copyright free basically a nine pineapple playlist now yes exactly he has fucking great taste in music uh for videos a lot of the plus a lot of them are just fair use it's like shit that a lot of people use you know like uh uh, Jet Set Radio soundtrack and like fucking I use a lot of the stuff a lot of people use but then I, and then I have some stuff mixed in there you know Nazim stuff you know mixtures all right I gotta let <laughs> I'm just gonna you know what we're gonna monkey the map here I'm gonna cover the map so they can't cheese no cheesing boys look at this monkey's tits also we're gonna change up the monkey and uh, throw in a Slanesh monkey. Fuck it. Wait, what is that on it? What is that on its milk jar? That is a either a really old joke or an inside joke that I do not remember. I don't call short kings and druggies. I, mean, I think everybody readied up. Nope, never mind. I don't call it. Is your playlist called Okoy's Bangers? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's actually a good point. If you go on, um, if you go on Spotify, it's called Okoy's Bangers. It's just a bunch of music that I, that, like, I've cherry picked out of my, my liked songs that, that are kind of like everybody likes, sort of, but it's just good shit. Yeah, it's called Okoy's Bangers. Oh, here we go. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! They've set up in a little bit of a drum formation to keep their auger guns covered. That's not going to give them great line of sight. I would have deployed up here on the hill for sure. Oh shit! The bears from the trees. Just a whole mess of bears. <laughs> oh shit! Ton of cats. <laughs> oh 
Oh shit! Okay, they're firing. They're, they are firing though. They can keep them back. It just can the bears break through the lines. Oh, here come the spinning loons, killing their own goblins. <laughs> so many bears. Oh shit. I don't think they have the firepower to beat these bears. Oh, they're, they're getting like shredded a little bit though. The night goblins are just gonna have a horrible time with these bears though. You gotta turn these guns around, shoot the bears, they're large, you'll be able to hit them. You can stem the tide of lions. <laughs> oh, this is like crazy cinematic though. I feel like I'm watching fucking Narnia. This is like the the I feel like I'm watching some shit from the movie, the Narnia movies and books. Just a whole mess of animals, just fucking up with a bunch of short people and goblins. Oh man, if they'd have just gone with anti-lodge infantry. No, there's no way the organ guns are strong enough to be able to kill these things. But look, look at the amount of damage they've done. I think every single uh, feral bear unit is at half health or less. So if they'd have taken like a defensive position like here and actually, you know, aimed out, they might have been able to to take out the bears with enough consistency to make them route. Anko, it looks like my local park after midnight. <laughs> You're definitely Russian. I, I okay, I was going to do iron drakes. Iron drakes probably would have been less effective just based on the fact that they're not great against... You know, monstrous infantry and shit. What is that? What spell is that? Hey, you know what? The night goblins are holding on. So many dead bears. Oh, oh, oh. It might come down to the lore choices as well, though. There's definitely some dwarf laws that are strong enough that they can kind of survive through all this. Dark Elf Lady calls that? I need to know what spell that is, though. I, 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 well, that's why I never play Dark Elves. Oh. Arnzipal's Black Horror. 9 damage per second, 33 armor pen. Medium forward moving uh, area of effect, strong versus multiple units. Huh. Weird. Yeah, it looks like the goblins have been overwhelmed. Uh, the wog will not succeed today. Remember to use your uh, your wog though. I don't I don't know if uh, I've been the man remember to use the wog. That does give you a pretty significant boost. There's no way you didn't get your wog with that amount of goblins. <laughs> There's just no way. The bears and the lions are just pulling through though. Pyrrhic, Pyrrhic victory? What? Now this is what we wanted from a Doomstack stream. Exactly. A little bit more of a balanced thing. Obviously one sided here, but here's where it gets interesting. The next two guys that join can counter pick this army. So they can go with like, I don't know, something that would be good against. So wait, so Greenskin, Ivan the Man and Thingy lost. Thank you for playing, boys. We're gonna get two random other people in here, and I need to piss so fucking bad. All right, I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go be a little piss boy for like for like two minutes while these guys pick their armies, and I will check their armies to make sure they're not getting too sweaty in the paint. And then we'll start. Gives them a little bit of time to uh, to to make some choices.
All right, we back in. <laughs> Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so apparently the shoe bomber is here. Uh, if the uh, if the fucking oh the Unibomber yeah if the Uni yeah because he bombed you no, it's you it's Uni Bomber like University because he bombed universities and shit. It's not Una Bomber. It's not like one bomber. <laughs> Unicycle Bomber. Is it Una Bomber? I thought it was University. Like Uni Bomber. Una Bomber. Right. Whatever. Also, I, I want to run this by you guys. Would you guys watch a dark and darker stream where I get you guys in in my group to try and get some wins so I can level up and make a video on three barbarians? Are people interested in watching that game? I find it super fun to watch. If you don't know what dark and darker is, it's like it's like Escape from Tarkov, but medieval. So it kind of fits the theme of the channel a little bit more. I was thinking of doing that for the next stream because then I, it kills two birds with one stone. I can level up. I can play with you guys. We can do a little bit of VoIP in-game voice chat shenanigans. And also, you guys are probably way better at the game than me, so you can carry my dumb ass. All right, let's check these armies. So, <laughs> gyro bombers and a full pu snuttling pump wagon do stack led by Grom versus the White Lions of Trace and the Feral Bears. So they took a full army of gyro bombers uh, with Belagar, so a nice tanky guy to stay on the ground. Okay, so this is good. Versus, why would you take pumpling? Wait, wait, why would you take pump anti infantry pump wagons against bears? Wait, cheater? Wait, who's cheated? Who cheated? This isn't cheating. This is fine. This is the same army, same army. Ted Kaczynski, Ted Kaczynski going with a snotling pump wagon. I mean, you gotta go with it now, dude. Oh yeah, okay, ready up again, guys, my bad. Sorry about that, Ready, re-ready up, because I've had to uh, change the map. Because funny spores. Yeah, dude, next stream, I'll probably do a dark and darker stream where I get, like, you guys to join. I'll just read out names in chat and just, like, invite you guys in. And then we can just, like, grind through some levels and stuff. Is dark and darker free? It is free right now. Because it's on a demo. It's just a demo. It's just a beta right now. But I want to make uh, three barbarians into a video if I can. So, yeah. It's free right now. Go go check it out. Dark and Docker. The playtest is free, yeah. Super fun game. But uh, very difficult. Super clunky. Super hardcore. You're going to die a lot. But it's still fun. It's like, it's just, it's way more my speed than like Escape from Tarkov. I fucking love medieval games. I think it fits the channel pretty good. And I really want to make three barbarians. No cheating as long as there are no heroes. Heroes aren't against the rules. It's just that they're really sweaty in a way because they're so strong. So I think it would like maybe fit better. Like, okay, here's the thing. W but like 19 engineers? That's base. That's not cheating. That's that's not sweaty. That's because they're not even good in melee combat. So it's balanced. Or like, it would be sweaty if you took like 19 Ember Wizards on fucking uh, hip, like Hippogriffs or whatever they're called. Griffins. That would be sweaty as fuck. Okay, it's all regiments of renown. What? What? Hell no. Okay, that's Really? Did I not notice that? Which one? Oh, it's okay. I'm gonna allow it this one time, but guys, no full regiments of renowned armies. It's you, you can take one Logie Bogies, uh, Spore Exploders, but oh wait. Uh oh. Did somebody drop? Uh oh. Okay, the whole game froze for a second there. Giant Exploding Spores. See, they're not good against large. We'll see how this goes, but don't do that in the future. They've got some pretty big odds to take down, so I don't really mind. I'm pretty sure they're still going to lose. <laughs> hey, yo, this this unit is underrated. Also, they do not look like cats to me. I remember when they... Eh, I, I really don't like that that just looked me in the fucking eyes. That was some self-awareness that I'm not comfortable with. 
Supreme Sorceress on a Lizard. Okay, ooh. Ooh. What is this lion formation? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this lion block? He heard you? Dude, that thing looks straight in my eyes and my fucking... You know when you get that uncomfortable feeling? Like, that thing in horror movies where somebody's looking through the cr like through a crack in like a, in a closet and then the, the like the ghoul or demon or whatever is like you know wandering around and then suddenly looks at them and starts walking towards the fucking oh dude i fucking ah oh, i hate that in horror movies it's like that thing staring at me shit staring at you you know and knowing where you are and stuff oh oh no thank you i don't i see the lions use norskin ice wolf model as the base which is why they look so weird oh it's weird because like the bear models look fucking awesome oh look at his little pouty lip the bears look great. I love the bears. They make them look terrifying and threatening, but also kind of adorable. But then you look over at the lions and it's like... They just look a little... Like, I don't know, man. The faces are just like a little bit... Animated? I don't know how to describe it. They're like just a little bit weird. Also, I'm, I'm totally giving away the map positions. It's spelling something. Zoom out. Tits. This is tits. <laughs> okay. So this is just says tits. T. T. I. T. S. And then I don't know what this is. <laughs> you fucking animals. These formations are very, very stacked. How is this gonna go, though? This is just like... Okay, somebody's trying to connect from Uganda, so this is going a little bit slow-mo. Oh. Here we go, here comes the smackdown! Oh, damn. Dude, these lions are shrugging this shit off like it's nothing. Oh, they're suppressed. Yeah, wait. Oh, hang on. Since when did gyrocopters get suppressed? I bet, I bet that's been in the game since, like, Warhammer 2. And I just didn't know. I don't know. It's the cheater, Ted. It's Ted Kaczynski. He's bombing the internet. Hey, yo. What? Um, are these Logi Bogey guys actually good in melee combat? Because they're actually doing some solid damage. Twelve explosive damage uh, with fifty percent. Twelve damage, fifty percent explosive in melee. In little areas, okay. Oh, this lag, dude. Oh. Belagard, no! Look at this chat! Get in there, bud. He's about to get pinged. Oh, no, never mind. Dude. The big dwarves are really fucking big. Like, look at the width of this man compared to Coril. Like, like, Belagar is... He's gotta be, like, a good... Six... Six, five? It's, it's a good 6'5", right? Man, and he's as wide as he is tall. Incredible. Adokoi, he's playing from jail. He's gonna be in jail if he doesn't get better internet right now. Wait, who has a flying thing? Oh, he has a... Oh, he summoned a feral manticore, okay. I was like, hold on. Yeah, dwarves are weirdly huge. That's the thing, if dwarves weren't like five foot two, and they were like six foot, but they had the same width, they would be like Andre the Giant, like fucking stacked. Like as wide as they are tall, like just huge. 
I don't think they have the killing power to take out Belagar. Oh! The dwarves and greenskins working together. I don't know who's causing this lag. It's probably Ted Kaczynski. It's, it's, it's Ted Kaczynski, actually, because it can't be the never end guy. People's internet fluctuates. Fuck it. Okay, Skaven are terrifying. They're like five to six uh, foot tall while hunched. Dude, that's true. Yeah, fuck, you never think about that. Like if a rat stood up. They don't have the bipedal neck thing, though. Like, if it, it's like fucking like trolls in World of Warcraft. Like they're technically the, the tallest race in the whole game. But it's but because they, they're like hunched over, they're not actually that tall. What? The fucking... <laughs> this, this like a bear parade. Okay, well, Alistair's just gotten bodied completely. The Supreme Sorceress... I just don't think that the uh, gyro bombers are going to be able to do enough damage. Wait, how much damage is it? 7,500. Okay, so but weirdly enough, the White Lions of Shrace have done the most damage so far. A bear, a bear parade, a bear raid? <laughs> yeah. This is a chaotic as fuck fight. Sombermen, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe. I forgot who left and who joined. I... I I'm pretty sure Storm Vermin and Fine Tech were in for the last game, and there was no lag then. Man, the lag is unbearable. Uh, uh, I th was that intentional? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Hey, the bears are getting bombed. I think the bears might barely clinch this. They might barely clinch this out. Ah, uh, nothing like some good old total war lag though. And okay, the dwarf count is bears considering how hairy they are. I don't, maybe in the face. It's Ted, he's the only new element to the fight. Okay, yeah. I don't call it. These puns aren't that funny. <laughs> you have to get your bearings. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> I don't think they... Oh man, this is really bad though. This is real, real slow. Ah. Uh... I'm gonna donate some of my gigabit internet ish. This is the only problem with doing multiplayer streams is like occasionally you get somebody with kind of bad internet or somebody that's connecting from like North Korea or something. This game is barely moving right now. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. There's so much bear bombing going on. All they've got to do is, is kill Belagar, but they just don't have the tools to do that. I would like to know that only three in-game minutes have passed. Yeah, it's rough. It's been about 10 real minutes and about three in-game minutes. Slap this shit on fast forward, boys. If the enemy disconnects through win. Yeah, but like They're not gonna <laughs> they're, I'm pretty sure they're winning No, Ted Kaczynski's already out The green skins have been completely wiped out of the map. I think they're not They haven't gotten any more value in a long time Oh, Ted left the game. <laughs> it was Ted. No, it wasn't. It was Ted. No, it wasn't wait No, it's it was not Ted It's happening! Oh no.
Oh, wait, Hellman will be fun to watch. Hellman? Oh, man. Oh! Oh! Hey! Okay, we're back, we're back. Maybe it was Ted. Maybe, maybe I had to wait for Ted to fully load out of the game or something. Disqualified for having shit internet. <laughs> hey, some people just don't have good internet, man. They can't help it. And here we go. <laughs> this is just like bear massacre. They're eventually gonna run out of ammo, though, right? Oh, wait, who died? That's Corhill? Corhill's little, little blonde body? Or Alistair, I mean? Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> oh. Alright. At least the lag stopped. I mean, if nothing else, we can get through this fight quicker. If only everybody had perfect internet. And Okoy, have you seen the trailer for Cocaine Bear? Oh my god, it looks terrible, dude. Don't even... Okay, that is so not my shit. Like... I... Uh, like, okay, like... Here are my three favorite movies, right? My my top three movies of all time. Uh, my top trilogy of all time is The Lord of the Rings. Like, The Fellowship of the Ring, Two Twin Towers, and Return of the King. My fa top three movies of all time are Kung Fu Hustle, um, Parasite, and uh, a the Ghibli movie, Princess Mononoke. So, like, it's just, that's so... I mean, okay, Kung Fu Hustle's kind of close. Twin Towers. I just mean I love those movies. Top three would be, would be Parasite, Kung Fu Hustle, and... Uh... Whatever I said, I already forgotten. Versus Mononoke. Adokoi, stream that film if you're so great. <laughs> what? Oh wait, who won? I didn't even... <laughs> oh wait, okay, okay, the bears lost. Holy shit! Okay, we gotta... Wait, so... Okay, fine text and storm Furman. You guys have got to leave. Well done. I cannot believe it. The dwarves actually won that fight. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. Somebody with good internet this time, hopefully. Wait, I accidentally deleted a player slot. Storm Furman, god damn it! <laughs> we just. <laughs> it's been an honor, okay? I'm glad. I'm glad. I've right, got two more people in. All right, we should be able to get another good two v two down. Let's change the map. Blasted Lands, nice open, uh, well-lit map. Good shit, good shit. Isn't Kung Fu Hustle the one with the bad dubbing? Yes, but you don't watch it dubbed. You watch it in Chinese with subtitles. What? Like, uh, dude, I can't... Dubbed is, like, one of the most fascinatingly stupid things in the universe to me. Like, you have to be so bad at reading to not be able to read subtitles. Like, I never watch anything dubbed. And dubbed anime is just trash dubbed movies trash the mouth doesn't even match up with the fucking words how do you i don't know how anybody can deal with that shit gyrocopters are boring yeah but now they get counterpicked so we get to watch somebody counterpick them which will be fun i don't go but when you miss that's a lot of nuts Gyro sorry for the ROI by the way i didn't find anything in the rules so i assumed it was fine i just it's just kind of like i some i said during the stream it's all good. At Okoy, give him the boot. At Okoy, my reading streak on Kindle is 124 weeks long. Nice. Wait, 124 weeks? Damn. At Okoy, same rules for WAG units as prisoners around. Um, no, you can take... Yes, same rules. You can take one... Wait, no, 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 no. No, WAG units are fine. WAG units are totally fine. Just don't take the sweaty ones like the Wyvern. But like, exploding squigs, totally fine. Um, armored squig hoppers, totally fine. Alright, wait, everybody picked. Alright, let's check these zombies. 
Croxacora Doomstack and a Gyro Bomb Doomstack versus a Salamander Hunting Back Doomstack and a Shades with Great Weapons Doomstack. This is actually pretty balanced because it's like ranged mid tier units, decent end game like ranged units that are really fast. Here's the thing if he uses the Shades to kite like a little bitch, then it's cringe. But if he uses them like mixed, then it's good. All right, let's see how this goes. Nineteen lava spiders. It is no. That's exactly what I mean. You know for a fact that's not that, that is not an okay unit to take. A lot of people I talk to who prefer dubs don't focus on it. They only turn on anime as background noise while they game on their second screen. Then what's the what? What's the point in that? To like maybe kind of half watch something. I never, I, I sometimes put on like bad movies in the background, like movies that I've, that I want to watch. Like I'd put the new Avatar on in the background kind of thing, I guess. But that's like, I only do that with movies like that are inherently in English. Lava Spider Riders? Yeah, that's fine. I don't go, dude, don't be so much, dude, that be so much fun to see you play Doc and Docker. Didn't realize they opened it up again. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that'll be the next stream, I think, because I, I it, it's a great excuse for me to, like, grind leveling in the game while also being able to hopefully provide, like, a fun stream. So we got Nakai and a Croxagar Doomstack of regular Croxagars, not the uh, armor-piercing variety. Belagar with the, um, with the uh, Gyro Bomber Doomstack, and then a lot of Shades and a lot of Salamanders. Dude, these are so pretty. I love the Umbral uh, Salamander uh, reskin. It looks so good. Oh my god. Alright, let's see how this goes. Some tells me that the shades are gonna be a little cringe. Don't fucking as long as you don't use the skate shades as like cringy skirmish troops, then this should be fun. I feel like the shades are gonna carry though. They're <laughs> really fucking strong. Monkey time at Okoy. There's not really any trees and places to hide. Like, it's fine. POV, you landed in Australia. No, that would be the Salamander hunting. Uh, that would be the. Dude, imagine like <laughs> just an Australia build. And it's just every spider unit in the game. And then every salamander, lizard, snake units in the game. I'm gonna hand out this hole. And wait. I wonder if you could knock something down here and it wouldn't die. Because this technically kind of counts as terrain, right? Uh, oh, Corey, are ancient salamanders not allowed, by the way? Ancient salamanders, I think, are too strong. Like, single entities, they're on the same level as, like, very strong shit. I think it might be a little bit cringe. Oh, Corey, next theme, stream, themed builds. Dude, themed doomstack uh, fights would be pretty good. Shades will get ripped apart, probably. No, nothing can stop the crocs goes. Dude, no, I, <laughs> shades are really strong. Croxagars have 100 armor. Not gonna help them. Not even remotely. But if the Gyrocopters get in there and bomb the shit out of the shades and get into melee... Wait, Gyro Bomber? Oh, wait. Gyro Bombers. Oh, he switched to Gyro Bombers. That's a little bit less sweaty. They're just much better at bombing now. Okay. <laughs> Croxagars are definitely closing the gap. Feral Conos, cringe or based? Cringe? What do you mean? Feral Conosols are like completely strong as shit. Oh my god, it's lagging again. Oh, why? I don't know, they were already bombers, forehead? Really? I'm pretty sure they were not bombers. I remember seeing a lot of them. Actually, that would explain why they were able to drop bombs for, you know, the whole fight. Um. I could have sworn he didn't have bombers the last time. Ooh, sacrificing the bomber is an interesting tactic here. I don't think the Crocs heroes are good enough to chew through all of the Salamander Hunters and the Shades, though. I just don't see it happening. 
They're kind of winning on the flanks here. Taking out some of the shades. Good shit. This column technique for the Salamanders is fucking whack. How to go? Exalted Flamer 2 then? No, Exalted Flamers are weak as fucking melee, so they're totally fair game. If, okay, here's the, like, a unit could be super strong, but have, like, it's, it's the things that are, like, super OP in melee, and then also super OP at range, you know what I mean? Like, Connoisseurs, or Stegodons, or, you know, Sentinels, or, like, you know, Cruxagors are, like, good, but they're not amazing. Like, you can count them. They have 34, 34 melee attack and defense. They're susceptible to ranged to a certain extent. Like, they're not gods. Like, they're decent. Like, I love how they look, and they're they're good old boys. Hey, death roll! Uh, but they're, you know, they're, they're fair game. I think, um... Are Medusa's OP? Uh... So, I don't quite. So, Skaven missile infantry is fine. Yes. Bring it down. Medusas, Medusas are not OP. They're strong, but they're not OP. They're like uh, an entry level tier 3 single entity unit. Like, you could easily counter Medusas with, like, like a Shades Doomstack would fuck up a Medusa Doomstack. Or even a Salamander Doomstack might be good against the Medusa Doomstack. I think the, the gyro farmers are getting chipped away here. The orb! Man, that is such a nice magical spell effect. Croxer girls are doing alright in the middle though. They're kind of chewing through these salamanders pretty good, but they're getting, the range is getting the best of them for sure. Adokoi, how about armor squid coppers? Armor squid coppers totally fine. They're not OP at all. I mean... That's pretty self-explanatory, right? I wonder why he didn't go Sacred Crocus goes. That that might have been a little OP. If he wasn't fighting like Shaves, that might have been like super OP. Jarrah Romans are doing reasonable though. Run, lizards! It cannot be me, right? It can't be me that this is just lagging for, right? Please tell me it's not me. Oh! Fuck, I clicked the notification. Literally looking like a slideshow. Oh, it's really... Oh my god. This is really slowing down now. My turn, it's fine, man. Like, I, like, I don't know why this is happening. I'm good. My shit's consistent. My bandwidth, there's no fucking way that, that this that it could possibly be me with my bandwidth. Even if I'm streaming. Like there could be like eight people in my house streaming and it wouldn't even make a dent. They're pin cushions. Jar have a hundred armor though. No, he's kiting with the fucking salamanders. It's fine if he wraps around him though, actually. It's basically down to salamanders at this point. Most of the shades. Oh, actually, wait, they've got stalk. Never mind. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Damn. I don't think the Croxagors win this. I don't see it. If doing hero stack, do they all need same mounts? Um, preferably not mounted, honestly. TA hasn't figured out how to get full people in a lobby. I've done two v twos though, and like I did a shit ton of multiplayer when, uh, with the ogres, um, you know, back in like January, like February and August and shit of last year, and uh, that like the netco was even worse, and there was like multiplayer connectivity issues. I still didn't have that many games that were like this. They were mostly fine, even with like 2v2s and some 3v3s. This is weirdly close though. I'm definitely the Salamanders are winning right now. 
Shades did it way not as good as I thought they were going to. I think gyro bombers are a good counter for Shades, weirdly. Please bring Gothric Doomstack somebody. That's so OP though. A single Gothric Doomstack could beat any of these zombies. Except maybe Shades. Shades could probably fuck up a Gothric Doomstack. His little legs don't have the, the, the power. Yeah, they're, they're getting biffed. They're ruined. Actually, I don't know. I want to say that the Salamanders are just winning this, but they're getting chewed through. Oh my god. Oh, the freezing! <laughs> Fucking end me, dude! Someone please bring a Gotrek Doomstack and an opponent please bring a Felix Doomstack. We have to see which one is the strongest. It's definitely... Actually, whoa, okay, hold on. That's actually a good question, because Gotrek has better stats, but Felix has healing and also anti-infantry. So, and, and like, Gotrek is better against Lodge. This is really Liz hard to watch. God damn it, I agreed. Uh, at least the map's nice. I don't really remember this map. It's like an ogre desert map, maybe? Yeah. Damn, look at the fucking graphics, dude. How's the leadership holding up? Somebody here is, is sitting on tennis stands with this shit internet, dude. We might have to get a fresh batch of, of people in. Five minutes in game, by the way. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's like one second for every five. This is my expression currently. <laughs> it's easy, even in slow motion for it. I love how the Slon always look like they're just fucking snoozing. I can't even, I, dude, it's it's like impossible to tell. But we may have to bail. This is gonna take like 15 minutes to get to the end of the battle. This is why streamers aren't doing much 2v2 is unless it's people whose connections certifiedly work together, lol. Yeah, I guess like people who join tournaments too. I think, um, we can debunk 2v2s for now. I think we might have to go back to a couple of 1v1s just to round out the stream. It's just too inconsistent. Oh, great, it's the Scaly mashup. It's fucking Ted Kaczynski's fucking DDoSing everyone. I, I think it's ground to so much of a halt now. We're just gonna have to end it. <laughs> it's just so, it's so slow. All right, tell you what, we'll, we'll host the battle. We'll go back to 1v1s for, a little, for the last couple. I'm only gonna do a couple more, but let's get some new people in here and some 1v1s. New map, go to Monolith, who won? I, the, I'm Thog, you've been in here too many times, my guy. Too shaky that they're definitely new. And Thog, thanks for playing though, my guy. De De forecast. That's new. All right. Custom funds. 69, 69, 69, 69. Okay, fine. Whatever game. Fuck you. <laughs> Whatever. Couldn't it be me, me, me Lamau? I think it's just the game struggles to convene four people at once. The servers are just a bit bought, like, borked. Tomb Kings versus Skaven. All right, good matchup. Just for the record, I'm b and and I have 800 megabits per second. University Wi-Fi is good. Yeah, I, I think it's just like the servers to a certain extent. You see this in tournaments sometimes. Like, 
Turner will be hosting. He has great internet. And then he'll have two people in the game with good internet. And the game will just be chugging. Like, it just won't work. All right, let's let the people pick. We'll dive straight the fuck back in. I'm gonna check their fucking armies though, because if they take some sweaty shit, I'm, I'm gonna be so pissed. A Death Runner new sec versus a Skeleton Spear new sec with no chevrons. <laughs> Four cats, man. Come on. At least chevron your shit. Four Hold on. I'm gonna give you the opportunity at least to put chevrons on your shit. <laughs> Why would you? What? Why? Oh, man. Ah, uh, I mean, we know how this is gonna go. Master Assassin, at least. Like, Cetra might be able to carry. It, I mean, it's a base tomb stack. All right, fuck it. Maybe it'll be an upset. And then, here's the thing, here's the thing. This is technically a starter round, right? So, we do this one. The Tomb Kings lose, as, as they often do. <laughs> and then the Tomb Kings get replaced by, I don't know, click auto resolve. <laughs> if we get, dude, actually, you know what? An auto resolve feature would be great just to see who, like what the AI would decide would win a fight, you know? I'd love to, like, just to see, like, I guess that you could judge that by the, the balance of power though, right? I don't know, the Skaven can't digest bone. The strat is to make them starve. We, we dominate them with calcium. The bone boys have silver shield. There's a chance, but it's not. They're not a ranged army though. They're a melee. Silver shields are only good for missile block chance. It's just a, it's entirely based on stats. And these are s s fucking skeleton spin with shields, which are anti large. And these are anti infantry. Wait. Yeah, bonus first infantry, <laughs> stalk fucking. They have Weeping Blade to get rid of, uh, put their army down, uh, armor down from 10, 20 to 10. There's just no way. There was no way. Count went against the Bone Zone. I mean, I was hoping he would have put Setra on a mount at least. Because then a uh, Kemrian Wall Sphinx could have carried this a little bit. But it is Setra. He is imperishable. Maybe he will not perish today. We might see a uh, Cetra the Imperishable uh, upset victory here. <clears throat> not, not likely. Dude, even Skeleton Spearmen have fear. That's pretty good. Also, they do have Realm of Souls that did receive a buff. Realm of Souls is a lot better now. And also, he's playing Tomb King, so he gets a summon of Yushabti. So, I don't think it's going to be quite as one-sided as we think, but it's going to be one-sided. It's going to be damn one-sided. Adokoi, are you planning to stream Blood Bowl 3? Um, I've put some thought into if maybe it's a good idea for me to stream it uh, and have chat like backseat me, like train me on how to play the game because I tried playing Blood Bowl 2 with Ogre Kingdom's DLC um, and I was fucking terrible at it. All my ogres just kept standing there and then they kept getting knocked down by like orcs and shit. I just, I just got burnt out, like not knowing what the fuck I, I'm doing. So maybe we can get like a super good like ogre build going or something maybe i'll see we'll see when it releases and shit how good the game is and whatever and if it's getting like rave reviews guy come on you gotta push you can't dance around each other your melee builds get in there dude death runners look fucking cool though the fuck was that oh man i love the skaven look how fucking cool they look just little ninja rats good old boys most Okoi stream ever. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Has anyone done 19 rogue idols yet? Lol, no, because that's super sweaty and OP. Like, how do you counter that? The, the whole idea of the stream in my mind was somebody picks an army like Death Runners, right? And then somebody goes, okay, then I, like, because I know that I have to fight uh, Death Runners, I will take, I don't know, Char like a bunch of super powerful chariots like a bunch of uh, chaos chariots of slanesh i don't know like doom flares or some shit a oh, death flare whatever the fuck they're called doom flares i'm pretty sure and then somebody's like oh i'm fighting doom flares okay i'll take anti-large 
fucking storm vermin. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, and then you're constantly like, there's, it's like a quid pro quo. I don't know if that's the correct usage of that. Probably not. There's only 72 death, uh, death runners in a unit. So maybe that'll help a little bit here. They're going to chew through them so bad. The death runners are going to chew through these guys like nothing. It's not even close. It's not even going to be close. Um, I kind of like the red color uh, coloration on the death vermin. Death, uh, death runners, though. Little red pants. You forgot the memes. 20 Chaos Chariots would be hell to manage, though. Yeah, but it would be a good counter. Adokoi, thoughts on 19 hell pits. Would, would it need to be watered down with Skaven Slaves? 19 hell pits? Oh! Oh, like hell pit abominations, right? <laughs> right. I was like... 19 hell pits like the like 19 of the town help it like what yeah i don't i think that would be a really sweaty army but then again wait what the fuck weeping blade oh they're already losing so many rival high talisman the blessing of petra at least Oh god, the Bone Boys are getting destroyed. Look, they're crumbling already! <laughs> they're already in critical binding! Oh! Oh man, Setra does have some spells though. He do have some spells though. Also, he's, he's unperishable. It says on the packet. Okay, Skeleton Speedman are receiving some fat heals. And the fat heals did receive a buff. Also, uh, once he loses a lot of these guys, which is going to be in absolutely no time. They're already a critical binding. <laughs> this is so one-sided. Okay, I just ended previous fight. Helicopters lost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. This is how Master Splinter resolves his chat battle <laughs> <and> support cases. <laughs> Uh, Death Runners are taking more casualties than I expected, but I really thought this was just going to be like a, a complete one-sided wash. Skeleton Spear are just so bad. They just have so... Critical Binding, too. Like, I do not play Vampire Counts uh, because of the whole binding feature. Because as soon as your uh, units get low, they just completely break and, and just dissipate into nothing, but I like Vampire Counts more than Tomb Kings, because at least you have undead units that you can choose. Whereas with the Tomb Kings, it's all about stat and like caps and shit. So I have to like build up my towns and stuff for goddamn, like you have to own half the map to start creating Doom Stacks. I think that sucks. Unless you want to have a Skeleton Spearman Doom Stack. And it's just not my jam. Damn, Cetra's cleaning house a little bit though, with his half of his, his usual armor. Has he summoned you shop to yet? Yes, he has. There they are. See, now you shop to Doomstag would beat the absolute dick off of these death runners. Wait, why is this closer than it should be? I think Cetra's kind of carrying a little bit here. Yeah, 178 kills. Three kills? Dude. What is the most kills that these Skeleton Spearmen have? 14 kills, I think. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Undead are too bad about unbinding. It's a slow death. Demons, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, like, playing the Demons of Chaos, it reminded me how much I dislike having um, demon units. Like, genuinely, uh, a full army of Bloodletters with, with Daniel is worse than a full army of uh, Marauders of Khorne. With uh, with that, with Daniel, just for the the demon mechanic, like because you, they retreat and they survive, and you don't have to re-recruit them and shit. Oh my God, Cetra, he's getting fucking beefed. Oh, come on, Ninja Rat. Dude, Cetra's retreating into his skeletons to get away from the uh, the Master Assassin. Yeah, there's just too many death runners. They're slowly crumbling. Oh! Not even Cetra can survive for this long. Not with 40 armor, too. Like, 
fucking weeping blade is just so good. Do Death Runners have armor piercing attacks? Oh shit, so they're armor piercing and they remove armor and they have bonus for his infantry. Adokoi, Dead Rise Again is such a frustratingly annoying campaign mechanic. Dead Rise Again? You mean, uh, where they get heals? This this thing? Realm, oh, that's Realm of Souls. What's Dead Rise Again? I don't remember what Dead Rise Again is. Skeleton Scouts are good for when you aren't warping around wedging people. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, they've survived for a pretty reasonable amount of time. Way longer than I would have expected. I don't know, when army gets undefeated, they get units back. When the, oh, when the army gets defeated. Oh, like when the units completely crumble and die and they come back. Yeah, that sucks. Where you, where you like think you've killed a legendary lord or you think you've killed a lord or a hero unit or like any kind of like unit in the game and then they just come back at the end of the battle. Yeah, that is super irritating to fight against. It's not as bad as the Slaneshi mechanic for um, seduction though. That is possibly the most irritating thing in the whole game. For me anyway, like you do a battle against Slaneshi and they snipe your like best unit or like some of your units and you're like, oh great, now I have to spend like five turns recruiting them again. Very cool. When you beat 70% 80% it comes back. Yeah, that's super irritating. Ooh, uh, dude, I would have waited on that, that whirlwind spell. Oh, it's coming back! No, it's not. And it's gone. And the crumble is happening. Look at Setra just in the middle. <laughs> Setra just started fucking breakdancing. <laughs> Look at him scream. He just like absolutely did a fucking breakdance like mid-ass spin. Just watch the video about how to cheese the seduction mechanic. It basically makes the AI go broke and they can't steal units. <laughs> oh, oh damn. Seduction is the most troll mechanic, yeah. Your own unit might not even survive in a siege or an army that has already retreated once, yeah. Yeah, it's irritating. Well, unsurprisingly, the rats have, st have stolen it. De Defor cats, a respectable, a respectable play. I definitely would have taken Tomb God, um, or at least wait. You could have taken Nekahara War like Nekahara Warriors. That would have that would have been such a competitive match. If you t dude, if you took anti infantry Nekahara Warriors, you probably would have won that, or it would have been super competitive. Oh shit! Wait, has Cloud was already been in? I don't remember. Plus, just a star whiz. Is this a Dark Souls reference? Or is it censoring it? Alright, let's change the map. Tushiki, you're not allowed to change your army, bud. Yeah, there you go. You're good. You're good. Boot him. I mean, he's playing Ogre Kingdoms, though. And he's playing as Chungus' faction. It's censoring ass, lol. Dude, that's probably my biggest pet peeve with Elden Ring and the Dark Souls series, is it will censor word, like, a, like a couple of letters out of the word knight, like N-I-G out of the word knight, so you can't be called knight anything, or, or the knight, or whatever. Like, and it, it censors E-A-D and a bunch of other bullshit, but you can have, in capital letters, the N-word, with like p dots in the middle and shit, and it, that's totally fine. Like it does nothing to prevent people from having offensive names. It just stops cool guys from having names like Knight Artorius or whatever. I haven't used any Mornfang. Fucking dude, censorship is like in online games is like one of the stupidest things ever because people can always get around it, and the people doing it don't give a fuck if they get banned. They don't, they don't give a fuck. They can just create another account. Alright, so it's Clawiz. Cl Wait, so it's, it's censoring... What? S? Class Wiz? Oh, Class Wiz, like Class Wizard. The Gamer Knight. I was the rattling guy who threw. Oh, okay, well, the Redemption Arc then. <laughs> 
the here's the redemption arc, and it's going to be an entire army of death runners against an entire army of man eaters with great weapons. Why would you go for the anti-large variant? Does nobody understand the difference with anti-large and non-anti-large variants? I don't understand. Like, you you could have gone for the non-anti-large anti-infantry variant. I took he's throwing again. <laughs> yeah. Hammers, hammers are cool. Smash little rat man. I mean, they're still gonna probably win because. <laughs> They're still probably gonna win. Man eaters are no joke. Great leadership, great weapon damage, anti -lo huge anti large bonus. They're actually solid. I just wish that there was more of a variation. I don't know why CA didn't make like seven variations of man eater models where there's like, you know, Empire variants, Cathay variants, like dwarf variants. You know what I mean? Like a little bit of a culture difference. That's the coolest thing about man eaters is they have they, there's cultured man eaters from every culture in the world. There's like Eshin ones. There's there's like Skaven man eaters. It's like the coolest thing. That's why I'm hoping for an ogre DLC that adds in like full man eater variants. You know, like there's like you know like there's like a Cathay variant that have like giant that have like handheld Cathay cannons and like or some shit like I don't know just some. <laughs> Look at these fat pirates. Look at all that meat, boys. Look at all that meat. What she sees. Okay. All right. I mean, this is only gonna go one of two, like one of two ways, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna go the way where ogres bowl over everything. I'm kind of say I'm not rooting for the ogres because I love ogres, but how do people join so fast? Spamming it, I guess. It just depends when their shit's gonna show up. I'm not sure. At Okoy, I'm sure the devs wanted to, but they have to answer to corporate executives. I'm pretty sure they wanted to, but they run out of time. Like, they run out of time, they just don't have the... the yeah, they, they make compromises constantly, you know? Plus, uh, another thing is, the Maneaters were uh, a unit that was, that was ready and then added back into Warhammer 2 as a mercenary mechanic. So, maybe constraints and all that. Or maybe they added in the Empire variants of Warhammer 2, and then when Warhammer 3 came around, they just didn't have the time to, um... If they add Golkfeg, he'll be added... He'll definitely be a Maneater focused Lord. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm expecting a Golkfeg Maneater DLC with, like, a huge Maneater overhaul. And maybe the Manbiter Goblin units, uh, Noblar units. If nothing else, this fight is gonna look cool. <laughs> hey, this is pretty much what Chungus looks like. Oh, man. Oh, come on. No more lag. There's only two of you, man. Which we know that Tashiki just did a fight, and then Class Wiz did a fight against the uh, Blimps and then threw. So maybe it's just a, a, a server thing. Adoka, use your influencer Riz to convince CA to release Scabicus. Who the fuck is Scabicus? If I'm gonna use my influencer, if I'm gonna use all of my influencer connections and my cre uh, content creator with CA connections to do anything, it's gonna be to get as much Ogre DLC made as humanly possible. I've already done as much as I possibly can to make the Ogres as popular as possible. I've sung their laurels to the ends of time, my guy. The Skaven have more than enough cool DLC. I want more Ogre stuff. Dude, I love the animations for these guys so much. Fucking... Oh! Big overhead slams! Ogre smash! Big old bops and crashes. Tretch 2023. Tretch is fine too. I think the Skaven are so popular, they get they get a lot of love, a lot of DLCs. I think they were more deserving of a 7th DLC than the Lizardmen, for damn sure. I still want Thankwall, won't be happy until we get him. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not against Thankwall, it's just I give way more of a shit about factions like Norska, 
our factions like the Ogre Kingdoms getting DLC. You know? Ogres being shitty on campaign and then getting gifts because of fucking multiplayer. Heck yes, yeah, I love how you pan into the multiplayer mandates. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're more balanced now. It's just unfortunate that they're on the lower end. Oh no. I want to see some rats get the split. Man, it's, it's a lopsided victory for the Ogres. Here's the thing. This could have been even more decisive if he went for man-eaters with pistols or man-eaters, regular man-eaters without great weapons. Like, if he went with Iron Guts, that would have sucked for him. Adokoi, get them to fix Throg. Dude, Throg's decently strong now. Like, in Immortal Empires, Throg's a fucking beast. He starts with the Ice Forge Legion. Like, he is a beast. Just join. Is Adokoi simping for Ogres again? I... I... And I, I... No. No, and you can't prove anything, so... <laughs> fucking ban that guy. Somebody ban that guy? No, somebody chat. <laughs> I don't know, get them to fix Throg's personality. Oh, yeah, I would take a Throg voice rework. Like, he's supposed to be shocked to close victory, victory for the Chungus, and victory for, well, the Chungai. Is that racist? Simp. Shut up. Shut up, dude. Get, get, get fucked. Tushiki. Thank you for the, for your, uh, wonderful contribution to the Skaven, uh, win streak. Baron's Bluff. All right. Ether Blob versus... The Maneater Doomstack. How will you counter the Maneater Doomstack without being sweaty? Who knows? I would suggest ranged weapons. Fix Throg by giving him all the troll units Greenskins got, maybe. SFO already did that, as they should. All they need to do to fix Throg is to make him twice as big, make his brain bigger and his wang but No. They need to um, rework his voice lines. His voice actor? Fantastic job. The voice, the direction that they took... He literally is just, like, supposed to be this, like, super smart troll. Like, like a troll, but with the intelligence of, like, a full-ass man, like a dude, like a Noskin. So, like, like, he has, like, a, a quote talking about the ruminations of, 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 like, of men and stuff. Like, like how, like, he needs to be, re like, his voice lines need to be reworked to make it strong, like, smarter. I can't remember if it's the crown that makes him smart. All right, Ether Blob is ready with his Sentinels of Asteril Doomstack. Is that a little bit OP? I don't know what these guys are. They're Shield Breaker, good range, low rate of fire, charge reflection. They're not OP, but they're fucking good. And a, an Archmage of Life. That is gonna be rough for the Ogres to deal with. But they're not super fast. The Ogres have the speed advantage. So it's, if he can close the gap, he can definitely win. Okay, lol, I mean, Throg, well, you're similar. <laughs> Adoko, yeah, Throg is way smarter than me. Well, that's what I mean. He's decently smart. He's supposed to be smart and intelligent, not just be like, I eat my enemies and having like a vomit ability. Like, he's supposed to be smart. Like, that's, that's, kind of, that's like his whole thing is like the smart troll. So I would take a voice rework and then, like you suggest, like some dude, like people have suggested and like you said that was in uh, SFO or Radius or whatever, giving him the stone trolls that we added in the green skin DLC. I think they've been out long enough that they can be given to just him, you know? They've done it with other units, they can do it with Throg. So just add in some smart voice lines for him and rework his voice a little bit. Give him, I don't know, a little bit of a rework, make him a little bit stronger. And just, add, like, just that in a, in a Noska rework for him is more than enough for me. And then maybe some, like, more Fimiria and, uh, like, Norska and Marauder units and shit like that. Oh my god, they look so fucking goofy, dude. Look at these fucking nerds. Look at these little dorky nerds. High elves are so unbased. Oh my god, the checkable formation. Oh Jesus. I don't call it. Cathay went from being my least type it's faction to my favorite team. of the game's three races. Such great mechanics, solid units, better Empire MO. Yes, dude! Cathay do not get enough love. Like, 
Also, if you haven't tried it, um, play as uh, either Miao Ying or uh, play as either of the Miao Ying or like whatever the fuck Lord, and then swap them around with a generic Cathay like dude, and then take a balanced military infantry formation. Such a fucking fun campaign. Seriously, like keeping in your tight little formations and using the yin and yang mechanics while getting crazy melee stats is super super fun. Also, it, it makes it, like, a lot more challenging because you don't have a guy that could turn into a fucking dragon. A and then, also, it makes Cathay's heroes actually useful. So if you have, like, the Alchemist or the, um... The other Caster Lord, or I forget what they're called, they're, they're actually useful now. Instead of just being, like, kind of just there and being a mediocre melee lord and a good kind of, like, Caster Lord, but you already have a dragon that is a way better caster, so it's usually pretty pointless. I don't care. That dude's deck is super elite, like terracotta elite. Yes, yes. Oh wow, boy. Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Because even if they close the gap, they still have 28 weapon strength, 62 melee defense, 80 armor, and silver shields. Like silver shields mean nothing. And also Martial Prowess, which is bringing that up to a fat 62, obviously. If he can close the gap, he might win this. But also, he's checkerboarding. So, I don't think he's going to win this. I don't think the Ogres are going to win, boys. I don't go, yeah, I found that uh, I really like Cathay. I'm glad, man, because Cathay, I remember a lot of people. Nobody was hyped for them at all, but they're actually a lot of fun. Like, I wasn't hyped for them. I thought they were going to be generic high fantasy Cath uh, China, which they kind of are, but they're fun. I think their mechanics are fun. Adoko, I love the peasant spearman slash jade crossbow combo. Yeah, or peasant archer peasant spearman combo. It really doesn't matter. I think their melee slash range combo is just good all around. Underrated faction. IMO. Whoa! Here come the bony fingers. Not very useful against ogres. I think that's a miscast. He should save that shit for healing. The, the Dwellers Below, or Underwood, whatever it's called, is not a very good um, strat against the Ogre Years. Cathay Wall deserves defense. It's hella annoying mechanic. Take that out, and they're great. Uh, I like the the mechan like the wall. I, I like that it's there. It's a huge thing in the Cathay lore, you know? Also, don't talk bad about Cathay or you lose social credits, man. Xi Jinping will kick in your door and <laughs> ass fuck you. <laughs> Alright. The ogres, there's no fucking way the ogres are gonna win this. It's just inconceivably impossible. They're wavering, they're wavering, and army losses. There it is. A heroic victory for the elves. I mean, it's a counter pick. It's gonna happen. But how do you counter pick this? Because this is a really good army. Dude, you could easily counter pick this with an artillery doom stack. An artillery doomstack would beat the shit out of that army. He's not allowed to change shit. He can't change his. He can't change. He can't put his archmage on a griffin, on a fucking, on a horse, or an eagle, or nothing. He has to take this. So the <laughs> the other whoever replaces. Thank you for playing, by the way, my ogre brethren. Whatever this dude takes, is going to counterpick the shit out of this guy, and I'm a hero for it. Queen best doomstack, dude. Oh my god. No, that you can't do a queen best doomstack. Totally not Gregor. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> nice fucking try. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe he tried the, the not Gregory thing. Respect for not fully changing his name in his profile picture to try and sneak in though. Mad respect, I gotta say. Hey, he totally wasn't him. That was... Come on! Adokoi, 19 little groms? You go for it. Fuck yeah. That's a fucking great doomstick. That's a easily counterable and also a really fun army. 19 toads, also extremely fun. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Alright. <laughs> That's weird logic there. That's a quote. That's like that. Fuck, what's that dude's name? Like, that's a quote. I know that's it's like a boxer or some shit. 19 Giselles. Dude, Giselles would fuck that army up. 
I think anything long range than anti infantry would absolutely just tear the high elves a new one. My friend bitches how Warhammer 2 is so much better than Warhammer 3. Is he wrong at Okoy? That's totally subjective, my dude. Certain things that were introduced in Warhammer 3, certain people don't like. I, like for me, Warhammer 3 is like fucking a million times better than Warhammer 2. Like I will never go back. Like the quality of life changes alone are enough to keep me invested in Warhammer 3. Also, Immortal Empires, I'm, I can never go back to Warhammer 2 since Immortal Empires. But there's still, there's stuff that I liked better in Warhammer 2, like balance as a general factor in Warhammer 2 was better. All right, hang on. Let's check the army. Skaven with it. <laughs> no fucking way. Wait, 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 wait. Jay, put some gold chevrons on these bad boys. Put some gold chevrons on these bad boys. Come on. I'll let you know. You can unready. Put some gold chevrons on these guys. I have to change the map anyway. I want to see these boys chevron up. You gotta put some gold chevron, like select all of them, and then <laughs> this fucking based ass man. You could have counterpicked this man, and you went with a Skaven Slave Slinger Doomstack. What a W. What a walking W this man is. <laughs> Jay, if you can hear me, if you can hear me, bud. No, you gotta select. Look at him, he's trying to upgrade him. No, 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 you gotta select them all. Press, pr hold left shift and left click on, uh, on double left click on one of them. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And now just recruit another one. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. You got to give him at least that. 11, 11 missile strength is better than nine. <laughs> I cannot believe they they have silver shields. There's no way they have fucking. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh my God. He, can't, he physically cannot win this. They have silver shields. It's it's inconceivable. It's impossible. War Wagon Doomstack win. I've made a War Wagon Doomstack video, if that's what you're asking. Uh, but also, War, War Wagon Doomstack is actually so good. It's not even bad. Like, since they got the rework and they got buffed, a War Wagon Doomstack is no joke, dude. They're very good. They're very, very good. God, these these are the these are the players that I love. Jay is like my absolute fucking boy. Like these are the people that I love. The people that could have you could you could go with any number of effective strategies. And this motherfucker went for a Skaven slave uh, slinger doomstack. <laughs> Best versus uh, worst ranged infantry. This guy fumbled the bag in the best way. This is already a foregone conclusion. He's going to lose, but he's going to lose in style. <laughs> oh, man. Here's the thing, though. Loose formation. Look how many of them there are. <laughs> now, if... Okay. What he could do, though... Okay, see, if this was AI, no dead ass, I could win this fight. If this was against AI, I could probably win this fight. Actually, wait a minute. How much is, uh, hold on. 55%, oh, wow. Um, mm, I, mm, <laughs> if you got real lucky, you could win this fight. All you gotta do is put these Game of Slave Slingers in trees, wait for the enemy to get within your range, and then shoot from out of the trees. I, I wanted to make a video on that, by the way. Trees are the number one uh, best tactic and in, 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 like underutilized tactic in this game, in my opinion. Nobody uses trees. You can win fights. You have no business winning with trees. They completely nullify enemy range troops to the point where you can win battle. Like I've won fights like garrison fights against majoritively ranged armies that I have no business winning. No, you couldn't lol in campaign with buff as fuck. Icky, you might have a chance, but not at that level. Dude, I'm telling you, trees are underrated. I don't think I can win this. 55% missile resist. They could run into melee and kill these slingers in seconds. Like, I get it, but still. Adokai, 100% trees OP versus AI. Yeah, I guess AI, yeah. 
I didn't think I had to make that distinction. I don't really do. There's not really. <laughs> you couldn't use it in PvP, really. You could try, but the AI are not gonna fall for that shit. Come on! Is there. Ether Bob, give the man a chance! <laughs> give the man a chance! Oh no. Ick it, no! Ick it, no! Oh god! Run, my rat boy! Shield breaker, missile block chance, minus 24%. Minus 24. Move your Skaven Slave Slingers in, dude. You gotta do something here. Dude, he's wasting their ammo. My, my man's dip dive dungeon and ducking and diving. <laughs> he's actually like cheesing the, uh, the ranged units. Oh no, no, halt your guys, put them in fire will. Halt your guys, put them in fire will! Mr. Jay! Jay, halt your guy. No, no, don't target, just put them on fire will. Jay! The bag is being fumbled! Jay! I mean, there's no way. 55% missile block chance. Like, they're <laughs> just walking at them. <laughs> oh man. Tree man OP. I did not say tree men were OP. I mean, they're pretty strong. It get about to eat so much shaft. Hey, he's already routing. I mean, I mean, ether ether blob is like up in the paint in melee with these dudes. I mean, I'll, like, why wouldn't you? 18 melee defense on Skaven Slave Slingers is inconceivable. These guys are. These guys are rats with a little bit of cloth and some rocks. Do they have melee weapons? Oh, they have the knives! Okay, fair enough. I mean, this is a- this is a foregone conclusion. Ed Okoi, what is the next campaign you're going to live stream? Um... Next stream is gonna be... Doc and Docker with- with, like, subs, so with you guys. So I'll be playing Barbarian, I'll be inviting randoms from the chat into my group, and we should hopefully be able to do some stupid VoIP shenanigans and just win, hopefully. Like, I'm just gonna have some people carry me, basically. Um... And then... Uh, the next stream after that, I'm thinking of doing SFO Ogre Kingdoms, because I want to see if the Ogre Kingdoms are actually good. So I'm just gonna do a Greases campaign on SFO, but I'm also gonna nerf the um, certain factions. So I'm gonna like nerf. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buff all of the Ogre Kingdoms factions. I'm gonna nerf the Greenskins into the ground. I'm gonna nerf the Hiles into the ground. I'm gonna buff Cathay. I'm gonna nerf the Vampire Counts. I'm gonna fuck it. You know what I mean? Just so like all the factions that usually get their asses just like smoked actually do well so we, we can like toss up the balance of power and stuff and have like a really interesting campaign and also the old kingdoms to have new mechanics and stuff i think but we'll see how that goes like that's gonna be my next uh warhammer 3 campaign that i live stream but also a uh, dark and doctor stream too first like that'll be the one that i do uh, way before Adokoi, those only count as knives in the uk <laughs> that's not a knife Man, poor Skaven slaves. Man, Jay, Jay, mad respect, my dude, but you, you, <laughs> you could have taken anything. <laughs> I don't go, SFO finally released. Yes, SFO, um, released for Warhammer 3, fully, in its entirety, um, with, like, an early branch of it or whatever. They have a lot more stuff that they want to do, I think. It's a constantly evolving mod and stuff like that, but I haven't played it a lot, so I'm really curious to see if the ogres have been touched on. Uh, it, it's SFO, the, the strengths of SFO are more for factions that have been underpowered. So like, Norska and FF, uh, SFO are completely different. And maybe Daniel. I wonder how Daniel's been changed by SFO. I wonder if he has been changed. I think I asked Kraken about it while he was streaming, and uh, and the chat told me that they, it's pretty much the same. He's like, exactly the same. But the Old Kingdoms have received some changes, so it's it'll be interesting to see if Grisus is actually good or if he sucks dick now. Like, if he still sucks dick. Like, if he's actually been made good or not. But I'm, I'm honestly more excited for factions that are usually OP to be weak as fuck. Like, I want to see the Ogre actually do well. Green Stations are strong? Yes, dude. What? Green, like, 
Have you ever, if you ever done a campaign and you're anywhere near the Badlands, Gr uh, Grimgore is always, always strength rank number one. He <laughs> got 12 kills. <laughs> oh no. Did any of them break 100 value? 106, 230. Oh man. Jay, you fumbled the bag, buddy, but I love you. All right, we're gonna do one more, see if anybody can take down Ether Blob. And I might wrap it up for today. It's gonna be Cinnabar in the Nurgle Wastelands. Can he think of something to take down the Sentinels of Estheril? I do not know a lot about the Hyles. Am I the only guy who just knows almost nothing about the Hyles? I can't, I can't even name like 10 units from this faction. I just don't play him. Phoenix God, Silver and God, I know we're new from like Altharion's thing. I tried an Altharion campaign. Like twice. It was okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just not a high elf player. Okay, Cinnabar coming in with the Empire with his flatulence to Why does everybody keep following the fucking bag? What are you you have no missile resist? What do you mean? <laughs> you know, no. Okay, Unbreakable is about the only Strength of the Penitent too, which is what? Did I can't click on him. God, I hate that mechanic. Okay, a full fledged dude. Flagellus dude's deck is based though. That is super based. Flagellus dude's deck is just exquisitely based, and I approve that. But against this army, I mean, if you can close the gap, they might actually. It's not fumble. Trust the strategy. This will win. Yeah, maybe there's something I don't know about. Here's the thing: physical resistance, fifteen percent. I know that flagellants are better now. Man, I really want to make a flagellants. I really need to build 19 flagellants because like a, a 19 flagellant stream stack. All right, I want to try a 19 flagellant stream stack and a 19 um, militia gunner militia doom stack, whatever the fuck for the for the empire with um, Volkmar. They seem like really good armies. Ew, ew. God, Nurgle is so gross. Imagine the smell like it. Oh God, can you imagine just like, oh, look at all those maggots, dude. Giant maggots. Oh, that's so fucking, ew, they fucking wiggle in unison. Oh, imagine the smell. Where, which chaos wasteland would you less likely to least want to go to? If you had to spend like 24 hours in one of the Nurgle planes, Cinch, uh, Khorne, Nurgle, or Slanesh, which one would you, like, most want to stay in? Probably Slanesh for me. I feel like it would be really, like, kind of hot. <laughs> if if not really wet. Super squishy and wet, and you'll probably leave with an STD. But, like, you'll probably leave with every single STD known to mankind. But if you go to Nurgle, it's going to be disgusting, and you're going to catch the plague and die. If you go to Khorne, something's going to kill you. And if you go to Slanesh, you're going to come up with 17 arms and no dick. So it's like, like... There's, there's not really a good option, but Slanesh is probably the best, right? At least then you're going to go out kind of, you're going to die a little bit happy. All right, Sentinels, Flagellance. Let's see what, uh, let's see if uh, the bag is going to be fumbled. So Frenzy, Strength of the Penitent, 15% physical resistance. And 14 melee defense when in melee. When losing melee combat. Interesting. But zero armor. Unbreakable though. So they will make it into melee combat. But I just don't think they have the strength to beat these guys. 80 armor. They have no ar uh, uh, armor piercing at all. They have nine. I just don't think it's... Oh, and the fucking Archlector's dead. He's just dead. Oh my god. That's not good. I'd be surprised if they even make it there. I'm telling you, this they they're they've got no armor, dude. This is what I was this is what I pictured in my mind. Dwellers below. And even if they make it into melee combat, what are they gonna do? They these are not ranged dudes. They've got 62 weapon uh, melee defense. Holy fuck. 
You see, I thought it was a fumble, personally. 50 melee attack and 30 melee defense, though, for Flagellants? I'm so happy the Flagellants got a, a rework. Like, like, they are such cool fucking units. You know? Just a bunch of... Just a bunch of nasty little guys. Just a bunch of nasty little guys that are into, into BDSM. They're really... They're just into that real nasty shit. I overestimated the bald men. You did, in fact, overestimate them. I think you also underestimated the Sentinel of the Master. Like, these guys, much like Lothan Sea God with shields, or Lothan Sea God in general, super underrated units. Like, the ni 19 uh, Lothan Sea God with all of the buffs available to them are world beaters. They're insanely strong. And these guys are just Lothan Sea God ripoffs. They're shielded archer units with spears that have crazy melee defense, good armor, and are shielded. Like, they're exactly the same. They're like a hybrid shielded unit. Oh god. Just to see if the next person actually can come up with something to beat these guys. I'm, I'm definitely- I'm gonna do one more. Another one. I, I wanna see if anybody beats these guys, man. Bunch of Dark Souls wannabes. <laughs> they don't roll enough, man. Sentinels are just better Sisters of Avalorn. Dude, not true. Sisters of Avalorn are, like, better than these guys. They have splash damage, like, um... They're probably better at different things, actually. These guys have, uh... Are they good at anti-lodge? No, they're not. They're just... No, they have no anti-lodge benefit, except for in the melee. 16 bonus versus lodge. Okay, I just wanted to see the, the elves die, lol. <laughs> I think everybody does. I'm immediately rooting against the the uh, the weaker, the, the stronger army, always. 19 great uncleanness. No, no, no. If, okay, the whole point is not to take OP armies. The whole point is to take, like... Oh, Jesus, yeah. Well, that went about as how much as I expected, but it looked cool. So, god damn, they did almost as bad as the fucking peasant doomsday. I mean, uh, slinger doomsday. Yeah, no fucking super OP units. Like, you can take stuff that's like strong, like re like something that could beat this. There's more than enough armies that could beat this. Like a fucking dwarf. Uh. Repeater gun, like, not the flame cannons, what are they, uh, organ guns, an organ gun doom stack would rip this army a new asshole. A, uh, a fire rocket battery army from, from Grand Cathay would beat the shit out of this army. 19 blessed, blessed trebuchets, they don't do enough anti-infantry. Hellstorm rocket battery doom stack would absolutely obliterate the sentinels of his, as is, you know? I was thinking Wraiths, 19 Gorgers, no, they would get ripped to shreds. Not, gorgers would get obliterated, dude. They 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 are so fucking, Gorgers are shit, dude. They are so weak. I made a 19 Gorger Doom stack behind the scenes after the nerf, and then after they were, I made it after they were rebuffed with their weapon strength. You know, after they were hit so hard that they became one of the worst units in the game, they had less weapon strength than like some of the weakest monstrous infantry. And then they rebuffed their weapon strength back to what it was, pretty much. But they kept the model count and entity count down. Like, they kept the entity count. So they sucked dick. I made a full Doom stack, And I couldn't even beat, like, a basic, like, solid Skaven army. They were, like, folding, fighting Storm Vermin. They were terrible. They're still terrible. All right. Floppa Gaming is bringing a Fire Rain Rocket Battery. It's like, let's go. 683 web strength. And a Dragon-Blooded sh with the scale of with the yin thing it's unfortunate that okay wait i will say dude you need to take something that's yang you should have taken something that's yang so that you can get the uh harmony bonus because you've taken a character a, a general that's yin and all of your units are also yin so you're not getting the harmony bonus bonus but it's too late and also i'm changing the map you're gonna have to re-ready up my b but you're not allowed to change it now but you fumbled a little bit there with the Yan, but it's fine because your influence radius is only the size of like, I don't know, like 35 meters or whatever. Laws don't give harmony. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. 
Lords give harmony. I'm like 99% sure they give harmony. They also amplify harmony, right? Am I like just out of my depth? I could have sworn. Only map harmony. Look at the effects. Oh, what? Well, that now, nah, well, well, then no, no loss. No skin off anybody's nose. We're back. They will only amplify. I think it's stupid that the that um the infantry guys that are like based around having better troops don't amplify it by 100%. They only amplify it by 50%. And that's stupid. That's that's some ape shit dumb. Cuz I love those little guys. The mercenary caravan leaders and then the uh the little dudes with swords. The doofy looking generic melee general for Cathay. I think they're they're like my favorite thing in the whole Cathay roster. They're great. Bad nine hail gunners. Iron hail gunners are fucking so based. You're gonna have to. <laughs> oh man. Now, placement for this battle is going to be everything. Because if he can close the gap with his uh, archers, then it's it's over. Man, how is it like? How is this gonna go? Dude, I'm so hyped for this one. 19 Gotrex Okoy? At Okoy, 19 regiments of renowned poison wind mortars. Oh, you mean the uh, the death wind mortars or whatever they're called. I know what you mean. Death shriek mortars? Something like that, I don't remember. You wanted Elsa lose and you chose a small cramped map. I did not choose this map. Plus, I always want the Elsa lose. I'm biased, man. Listen here, you knifier piece of shit. Oh my god, the placement. <laughs> you gotta be better with the placement, man. Erokoi, those Cathay generals look like modern historical reenactors. <laughs> I know, I love them. They look like what Dong Zhuo historically. If you don't know who Dong. Hang on. They look like Dong Zhuo from, like, the Dynasty Warriors series. He looks so nasty in, in, in 6. Oh, what? Bruh, I fucking hate it when you open an image and the image is like the size of a fucking thumbnail. Okay, wow. This is, I mean, this is going pretty good in terms of damage. Holy shit. Okay, he kind of fumbled the bag here with the overlaying because a lot of these guys aren't going to be able to fire. Firing, fire, obstructed, see, obstructed. You needed to put these guys in ranked file because that might have fucked him here. Yeah, Dong, Shu, Dong Shuo is a Chinese guy from, um... The Dynasty Warriors series. And oh, he's from the Three Kingdoms period in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms book and everything. And he's also obviously the thick guy in, in Total War 3K. He's the uh, the Dong, the Great Dong. Dude, I fucking miss 3K. I have been playing it again recently. It's such a good game and it sucks that people don't like it. I really like it. I don't know why. Like, I love the Three Kingdoms period. I think if you don't give a shit about Three Kingdoms period, that game does nothing for you. But I fucking love it. Okay, yeah, Death Wind Mortars, I mean. They have some big potential there. Yeah, yeah I, I, dude, Deathwind Mortar's Doomstack might be the single strongest ranged Doomstack in the game, but it's not viable because they're a regiment of renown. Well, Poison Wind Mortar Doomstack with the with the um, the purple uh, one in there is a stupidly good army, but you've got to get every single buff, and then also you've got to be fighting an army with like very little single entities or heroes in it because they will clap your shit. Like, mortars suck against uh, single entities. This is actually going to be pretty close, and I... <laughs> he did kind of fumble the bag here, not putting them in. Like, if he'd have put them in, like, lines, like... If Floppa Gaming had done this, he, this would already be over. Like... Like that. It would... This would be over in, in like, a fucking second. I love Dynasty Warriors 2. Um... Started with uh, three extreme legends, and it's my favorite until this day, dude. Fuck yeah, I th those games were like my whole childhood. Just like, t t oh no, he's gonna lose. He's actually he's just straight up gonna lose. 
with the rocket battery on me. It's over. There's no way. The line of sight, it's only the yeah, god damn it. Oh man, army losses are incoming. Yeah, dude, I, I played every as a kid. I played I can still name them all. I played Dynasty Warriors 2, Dynasty Warriors 3, Dynasty Warriors 3, uh, Dynasty Warriors 4, Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires, Dynasty Warriors 5, Dynasty Warriors 5 Limp Empires, Dynasty Warriors 5 Extreme Legends, Warriors Orochi, Samurai Warriors 2, fucking Dynasty Warriors 5, 5 Extreme Legends, 5 Empires. I played 6. Uh, and then six extreme legends and then I don't remember six empires came out And I played it. I don't remember but I like all those fucking games dude That was like my whole ass childhood. Holy shit. They actually lost. I think that was a placement issue Like almost every single piece of artillery was obstructed. Am I wrong? All right one more You sh sincerely you cannot fumble again you like Levick Think of it. Wait was Levick the guy who just played? No, it was the other guy. Right, but okay, right, whatever All right new map New map, new day. Come on. Okay, I'm going to leave this map, but this, whoever, whatever Levick takes is going to have to use these trees somehow. Well, although that could work in his favor if he goes for a melee doomsday. Although then Aether, Aether Blob is, is not stupid. He's going to put his shit way away from the trees. I don't know. I didn't know uh, that you restricted our arm doomstacks. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, they're not restricted. You can use them, but you can only use one regiment's of renowned doomstack. Like it's a, like you can in campaign. Like... Like, if, if, if you were building this Doomstack in campaign, that's how I'm trying... That's what you want to get the closest to, right? So, High Elves, like, the... You could get the Pure Main Company, one of that unit, and then, then like, 18 units of uh, White Lines of Trace, just as an example. Like, and then also, if there's, like, a campaign variant of it, like, if you're playing Doom Wheels and you get the one from Ikit's, um workshop, you can get the, the one from the end of that tree. That's totally fine. Get that, and then... You know, whatever. Oh, <laughs> I'll stop rocket battery. Okay, so basically the same strat, but I don't think he's gonna fumble the bag. We'll see. Will he fumble with the sack, or will he actually do it? Dinosaur Warriors one was a second was a two D beat him up. Yeah, yeah, it was like a fighting game, like a fucking Dinosaur Warriors one. I did not play, but it was like a. I know it was like a side scroll of fighting thing. I've seen footage of it. It's like. You can be like Lubu versus it's like the you know Street Fighter. Or uh Mortal Kombat style. But yeah, Dinosaur is 2, dude. When I played Dinosaur 2, I could not fucking believe how big that game was. It was like I get to play as a dude and I can like kill shit tons of infantry and take over a map with like an army. That's awesome. Like dude, dude it blew my fucking mind when I was a kid. And then like I got into the Total War series and shit in like 2001. Playing like the first one I played with like the first Samurai Warriors back in the day when it was 2D polygonal and I fucking hated it. I was like, this sucks. And then I played Rome 1 and I was like, oh my god, my fucking cock exploded. Dude, Rome 1 was the shit back in the day. I used to just play custom battles over and over again. Like just sending like an entire army of dogs against an entire army of artillery or like a, a full army of peasants against a full army of like catapults, you know, shit like that. So fun. So fun. Okay, this map is way more trees than I was expecting. Here's the thing. Uh, this is like, who pushes who here? Do we get... Okay, he's got to not fumble, right? He's got to put all of his artillery, like, here in rows and then shoot them into the trees. Or, like, here or something. How do you play this? This is so hard. This map kind of fucks over the Hellstone rocket battery stat. Rome 1's music is still stuck on my head to this day. Dude! Oh, Rome 1. Dude, I'm gonna play. Fuck it. I'm playing Rome 1 music for the rest of the stream. Oh, I love the Rome 1 soundtrack so much. I had I had a mod for Rome 2 that installed the, the music of Rome 1. Dude, Jeff Van Dyke. What a Chad. He needs to make more music. Yeah, the Rome 1 soundtrack was amazing. Is this like the... Oh, this is the intro thing. Wait, Carthage intro. Where's the absolute... Where's the, There it is, Barbarian Victory. Dude, this is such a bop. Hell yeah. Na -na 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 -na. Wait, why are you firing artillery in the trees? No! No! You fucking moron! No! Levick! Levick, you fumbled so 
<laughs> Flemic! No! You made like a worse mistake than the last guy! Oh my god, no! Oh god! <laughs> no! How did he not know? How could you not know? Fuck me. <laughs> Ether Blob is collecting all the bags today. He is. He's he's outplaying. He's, he's, I feel like he's getting underplayed on though. You know what I mean? Lamau, we suck at this game. <laughs> no. Nah, that's not true. Oh, dude, this is such a bop. Where's the other? Wait, there's there's that one song that at just hits like a fucking. That ain't it. Oh, this is dude. Oh man, this gives me such nostalgia. This immediately dates this game and makes it feel so old. I can hear legends sighing and <laughs> and I live in England. <laughs> I think Okoi viewers are actually bad at this game. I guess so, yeah. I think a lot of people just don't do a lot of multiplayer. Or like, I guess you don't need to do multiplayer to know that artillery can't shoot through trees though. Like, yeah, if anybody didn't know that, artillery can't shoot through trees. So if you're using artillery, you gotta put them like, if he put all of his artillery here like this, and then stuck his lord up on the hill, he would have won this. Like, easily. Okay, have you ever heard the Age of Mythology theme? Uh, no, but I remember my brother playing the shit out of Age of Empires and Age of Mythology as a kid. He was like, genuinely super good at Age of Mythology, and I was never competitive, but he's like... He was like, super competitive as a kid, and like, used to just clown on people. Um, I was always a Total War guy, and I always used to do the campaigns. I've heard that the Age of Empire theme is good, though. Huh? Yeah, this is like the last. Yeah. Fumbled. God damn it, Levick. You were the chosen one! You were supposed to kill the elves! Not fumble the bag! You had the high ground! I fucking hate sand. <laughs> no, wait, sorry. That's that's a that's the that's the wrong line. Such a good fucking soundtrack, dude. Oh my god. Map didn't help though. Yeah, the map was uh fuck. The, the map fucked a little bit. Not great. And okay, one more. We can't let the elves win like this. We can't just keep playing until the elves win, until the elves lose, man. I'll tell you what. We'll let this we'll, we'll see what this guy is gonna take and if it's something that I can foresee a quick victory with then we'll I'll allow it I'll allow it the council will decide we will decide whether or not it's worth watching <laughs> This guy is gonna win or not But I think uh, El uh Ether blob took a, a solid stack Corn is angry this battle is ruined by those elf dude There's so many army combinations that could easily beat this elf army and nobody's taken a single one, and it's insane to me. But it's getting late. I gotta make food and stuff, so this is we got we gotta wrap this up. Man, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the donos and stuff. Uh, been a super fun stream. This has been like such a good idea for a stream. Like this has gone. I think the other than the 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 obvious for seeing of people taking sweat stacks, like what food? Uh, I'm gonna make like chipotle chicken pasta. Cause I gotta get rid of, like, pasta. There's way too much. I got like, a whole cabinet full of that shit. Alright, what, what are you gonna take? I don't even know what to call this guy. I literally don't even know how to say this name. I don't know what that symbol is. U, V, apostrophe, D, X, equals U, V, dash, F, U, apostrophe, V, D, X. 
Okoy demands his butcher preps the stew pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going off stream to eat big chunks of bloody meat. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Rounding, yeah, okay, we'll watch this. Rounding it out, uh, actually, anti-lodge doomsick, 100 armor. This could go really bad or really good depending on how he plays this. You're missing a unit, dude. You're missing a unit. This isn't a, a, a full stag. Or is that a flex? Remember, you can take the Wheels of Doom and... You can take the, the Wheels of Doom and the uh, Warpfire's Wheel. You can take this too. If you want to. Yeah, we got it. This, this is like a good way to close out the stream, I think. A real... A real... Thigh slapper. Nope. You're, you're just good. All right. Oh, oh shit. He unready right at the end. Okay, call him keyboard smash. Sigma move. He doesn't care. He doesn't need that last doom wheel. My man will do the job with one of his fingers missing. I don't quite love the stream. Hopefully I'll get in next time. Yeah, man. Sorry about, uh, Sorry about that. I, I have people that have watched like five Elden Ring Fight Clubs in a row and have still never had their sign show up. It's crazy. Like, I don't know what happens with it. This is a nice map. Fuck. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's a... Mm, that's a little bit of an L texture over here. I don't even have better camera mod on. Yeah, some of these maps didn't age well. Look, how fucking cool would this be if this was part of the map? Like, imagine if this was in the middle of the map, right? Like, this huge thing right here. And then, like, with some pathways around the sides, huge cavernous, like... Imagine having a battle, like, just a, a, sl a, like a slug off right in the middle. It's so cool. Throw alert? I mean, this map is not great for him, but... You could win this. Anti-infantry... Causes terror so you can route them. Are they mean to psychology? No, they're not. Row my intro song always got me hyped. Love your content. Hey, Gmo with a $20 dollar. Thank you, my dude. Uh, dude, I f yeah, Rome soundtrack is the best soundtrack for any Total War game. It's not even close. It, it was the, it's the most unique. It stands out. It's actually like good music. Like, it's, it slaps. It's just, it's the best. Like, every single fantasy song, like, since then has been good, but like just kind of generic, you know what I mean? Like it's, I've never felt like sucked into it. It's probably nostalgia too, like, it, but if you go back and listen to the Roma soundtrack, it holds up. It totally holds up. It's still great, like such solid music. And it's like, it's a bop. It's like um, in Doctide, the music for Doctide, it's not super serious and, and sweaty and like, like every serious movie ever or whatever. It's like, it's a bop. It's, a, it's some good fucking tracks. And it gets you hyped up. Okay, how many plans for four Psyker Doctide stack? I, I gotta be honest, I started to kind of like get burnt out with Doctide. I was, um, I started leveling my uh, sharpshooter so I could do a veteran doom stack, right? A veteran sharpshooter doom stack. And I got to like level 20 and I just started to get so bored and burnt out and like the game not having crafting and having to replay the same missions over and over again and just, I don't know man, like I decided to get burnt out, plus like I am I only really have fun in the game playing Ogren and Knife Zealot I don't know man I might push when the game starts getting more patches, I might come back to Darkside, you know, when it's when it's worth playing again I'll probably come back, but in the meantime it's gonna be Warhammer, it's gonna be El uh, Darkside and maybe Elden Ring because I never attempted to make another PvP video with uh, after the PvP rework. So maybe I can make another Elden Ring uh, stack of, you know, the, the three outfit gang kind of things again. Because they were so fun to make. They were so fun to make. So like, yeah, that would be my go-to. One of those three. But I don't think I'm touching Darkseid for a while. When Darkseid is crafting, etc., you think you'll go back to it? Yeah, exactly. I'll probably go back when it has crafting... And when there's like some new maps and some new content and some rebalances and all that good shit. Is this- I can't tell if this is going well, but he has to spread out. He has to spread his doom wheels out and not group up. He needs one doom wheel on every unit and then he needs to move them in and out and he can win this. This is totally winnable. 
He just needs to keep his shit moving. He's winning in the auto in the uh Yeah, look, they're slowly tipping down. He's got this. Okay, have you ever tried uh Risk of Rain 2? I did, yeah, I played it. I own the game. Um I think I have maybe like 10 hours in it. Uh, it. It's the same gameplay loop over and over and over and over and over. So I did it maybe like 20 times and then I just kind of got, got burned out. You know, you unlock a couple of classes occasionally. I wanted like a melee class or something. I, for, I forget. Like, yeah, I, I play I played it a lot, but then I, I got burned out. Like, I can't keep doing the same loop over and over again. I have like fucking ADD brain. Yeah, he kept them together for too long at the beginning yeah you gotta you gotta spread these guys out you can still win you can still win he's just gotta gotta sit these guys down he's gotta pin them down as soon as they can use their range then you're screwed you're just completely screwed oh he took it wait Archmage of light what happened to uh his lord was it ick it no doom wheel it was it was ick it i don't know have you ever played phasmophobia fuck that I am terrified of deep, dark, open water and the ocean and all that shit. I have philosophobia. I cannot play anything like that. I've thought about doing it for like 200k. Like if I hit 200k, I'll do like a stream of phasmophobia or something adjacent. But it's literally going to be me like crying and screaming the whole time. Like, it, it, like my fear of the ocean is so bad that if I'm in water in World of Warcraft, I get uncomfortable. Like super badly graphic water from like 2001 still scares the shit out of me like i'm not even kidding subnautica oh phasma <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i was thinking of subnautica <laughs> dude i'm terrified of open water so fuck ghosts like no no yeah phasmophobia I, I, it looks okay like i'm not a big ghost guy those games I, I'm kind of like in the critical mindset with those games. They don't really do like scare me at all So it just does nothing for me. I think you have to be like on edge and kind of creeped out and stuff I don't see that. I don't know. It's not I don't like horror games. They just don't do anything for me The gameplay always sucks. It's just about being scared. They always just seem really gimmicky to me At least games like um, what's that one where you get chased? It's like a lobby and it's like one guy plays as like the killer and everybody else plays as like people survivors that gotta run away dead by daylight that actually looks like a reasonable game because it's got like actual gameplay. But horror games in general, I'm like, they're just like not my bag. I don't go either a big Nurgle boy or cat boy doesn't even want to get clean. What? Well, ocean ghost hunting. Okay, ocean ghost hunting sounds kind of like kind of pretty fucking based. That sounds cool. Yeah, it looks like the um, doom wheels aren't spread out enough. Looks like the sentinels are gonna pull out another win. But this is definitely gotta be the last one. I'm hungry as fuck. Hunting for seamen. <laughs> you don't gotta hunt very far to get seamen. I'm pretty sure, just ask any dude. I don't know, ever seen the model of the great, uh, the great clean one? Yes, I actually used it on a stream. And uh, bought a Nurgle faction and <laughs> have the textures on. It's pretty funny. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. The ocean is more scared of you than it. That is definitely not true. There are dead eyed killers in in the ocean. Oh shit. Okay. They broke finally. Damn. Eric victory. Damn. The unbeatable. Ether blob. With definitely using some PVP checkerboard tactics, but you can't punish the guy for knowing what he's doing. So. All right. Did you play? Dead by daylight is super fun. If everyone are new players, the gameplay loop gets super annoying at higher ranks. Yeah, dude, that's like every game like that, though. You know what I mean? Like, most games suck when you're fighting somebody that just shits all over you and there's no competitive nature. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for the, the donos and the fucking... Thanks for watching. Concurrent play viewers for this stream has been nuts, dude. Like, this stream did super, super good. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Love to do another one of these. Um, next will be Doc and Doc though. So if you're interested to check the game out or anything, ha ha ha, I just got here. God damn it. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Like, super fucking fun. Um, yeah, I'll Doc and Doc and stream next, and then I'll do some SFO Oak Kingdoms to see if they've actually managed to make Grisus a good campaign. But yeah, thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.